more stuff like this. Like I said, I can only. Ooh, oh, 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 oh
We found a, a magnum wrapper, guys. This is not mine, by the way. This is not scripted. I did not plant this here. We will throw that away, though. But, yes. Uh, so that's what happened right here. Let's see if we can find anything else in this spot. Is that Monka TOS? No, it's just a wrapper. Wait, did they use two wrappers? A big score. We didn't even have to go deep for that one. Oh, wow. He required two. Two rappers. They had a good time. The skull is a very, very intricate structure. Tons and tons of bones make up the skull. So we break it up into the cranial bones and the facial bones. All these bones, except for the jaw or the mandible, are fused together by sutures. So it's not just one bone. It's all these different bones that come together to form the skull. We have a whole bunch of different holes or foramens in here and meatuses and fissures that then are important passageways for arteries, veins, and nerves. So they're looking at the fissures in the eye. We see two little foramens above and below the eye. So in this video, we're going to be going over all the major structures of the skull, all the major bones of the skull. Yeah. This is a blue heron. Bouncy because you guys are currently on my knee and I'm floating on a kayak. Okay, there, we got a good shot of him. This is what I like to call my budget scuffed Damien Explorers scene. For better content like this, please follow Damien Explorers, who is actually a professional bird photographer. This is Doc Explorers. <laughs> All right, we have the booster coming in right there. Okay. This is amazing. Oh, this is so cool. Oh man, look at that. Look at that little toasty marshmallow. It's a, that thing freaking landed on that little barge. I thought the barge would be so much bigger. Hello, hello, hello. Oh look, we already have a bird. It flew away. It flew away. How you doing, Bria? You're the first one to say hi. I wasn't sure if uh, things were working there for a bit. Uh, audio coming through. Everything good? Another treat for Watson. <laughs> he is right out there now, isn't he? I should go grab those quick. But, hello. Oh, Watson. Chill. Things are working. Okay, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, let's get one treat for Watson out of the way. Come on, bud. Hey, can you sit? Easy. Good boy. There we go. What's up, David Alexander? How are we doing today? Probably don't need this plugged in the whole time, but we're, it's going to be hot. It's going to be sweaty. It's going to be rough out here today. So I hope you're all ready to sweat. You missed Saturday morning. What? So this morning, I got up at like 7, and I met up with Psycho One, and we headed up and went to some Florida Native nurseries. I went to Tractor Supply and got some mulch, some compost, and dog food for Watson, and some treats and stuff for Darwin, and some more bird food. Um, so I've been running around all day. Now I need to get finished on this. We have lots and lots of plants. Don't know if you saw them on my... Um... Watson's looking good. Must be high-protein treats. Oh, yeah, Watson's so good. Watson's so good. But, yeah, the bird mansion turned out... Doesn't it look good? Doesn't it look good? The rain barrel is right off to the side over there. I can show that later then. Just have the camera set up in a good spot right now. But... Yeah, so I have the wireless mic set up. We'll see how that works out here today. Uh, just putting my 
work gloves on right now because I have baby hands. I don't know how things are going to work in the heat. Dock working. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a sweaty one. I got myself a new rake today. So, rake life. Oh, I should move this out there too. This is my yard waste bin. We'll be slowly filling this up with grass clippings. So we'll just throw this over here. So, but yes, welcome everyone. Uh, so today we're going to be building a butterfly garden out here. Uh, I already tilled half of it because I'm using this hand tiller. So it's a little bit of extra work. And today I got a whole bunch of native Florida plants that we're going to plant out here. We're going to talk about each one of the types of the plants. You'll see Watson running around too. It's a hot, hot Florida day. But I bought these rocks to go around it. This is the bird feeder we built. Bird feeder has been working great. I ha and I put plants around those and I built another little one around a dead tree over there. But now we're going to connect it all together. There's a cardinal. Look, see the cardinal? It works. <laughs> I don't think the cardinal knew I was here. But we're going to fill this in now and make a good butterfly garden. Uh, wanting to do this for a while. Finally found some time on a weekend to be able to focus on this project and get it done. So thanks for being here, everyone. This is going to be a sweaty, fun project. But first, we have to finish tilling all of this and getting all the grass out. So you're running right now? Yeah, so the, the focus on this is to bring in the butterflies. So we got the milkweed um, and different um, flowering plants that butterflies like. And that also brings in the bees, other insects. And then all that stuff always brings in the birds, of course. So that's the goal today is to get all that and try to focus on Florida native as much as possible and going away from the box store stuff. So not, not all my plants, like some of my plants out here now, aren't technically 100% Florida native, but we'll see. So this is my little handheld tiller. So this is uh, the most extensive part of the work today. This is, takes a while. So I'm going to get started on this and we're going very, very slowly. You make a good looking blue tree to birds. <laughs> What's up green herring? I got caught up with a few things this morning. So I'm running late, literally. Well, I hope it's not as hot as it is here. So we're going to be doing this very slow. We are not going to be working fast today. But I hope you guys are okay set up over there. I could zoom in closer to where I'm tilling, but I figure you'll want to watch other things. I am babysitting two other dogs, but I'm keeping them inside. I hope Watson doesn't poop on cam. That'd be weird. Yeah, that was a rake, my new rake. So we'll just work our way down through here. The birds are probably going to be angry that they can't come by and eat because I'm standing out here. We'll get over it though. Rent a tiller for 30 bucks? Why? This costs 30 bucks and I'll have it forever. You're out running right now. Mr. Exercise, this is my exercise. Yeah, this was 30 bucks on Amazon. It's not too bad. The only difference I'd make in it would be probably a longer arm so that I don't have to hunch like this. Physical, exactly. The black object in front of you with the plants around it? Are you talking, what, over here? That's just a, a dead tree stump. And I put, I, I screwed a little uh, bird bath into the top of it. <laughs> so this, Florida is so dry right now. So, so dry. <laughs> what, Pookie? <laughs> Spa deep spit. 
What are you, what are you going on about, Pookie? Ugh. Oh, by the way, I have new point redemptions if you uh, look at the point system. Yeah, rototillers are work too, yeah. Yeah, you're not kidding. It's, just because you have a tiller doesn't mean something easier to do then. Probably should have played some music since I'm home and can control it a little better. In Florida, yeah, well, most things are pretty easy in Florida sand. That's why this isn't too, too bad, using this handheld one. I don't want the back of my neck to get burnt, though, so I'm going to put this up a little higher. Ooh, this phone's going to get hot. What's up, American? It's going pretty well. Need some, well, we haven't had rain here, Ark. We haven't had rain here. The rainy season will get here soon, and then there'll be lots, lots of green. And I don't have a sprinkler system. And I'm not a massive fan of all the sprinkler stuff. It's a lot of water waste just for to have a green lawn. I'd rather water native plants and things like that rather than focus on having green grass. You're doing some gardening too. Nice. When's your battery pack coming in? I don't know. I'm just using crappy battery today. And since I'm home, every, I'm using my Nikon camera so I can zoom. So that might look a little different. Might sound a little different too. Let me know if it sounds too quiet or too loud. I can adjust the levels. So I'm using my Nikon and everything's just plugged into the house. <laughs> So I could stream forever like this. My personal battery, as in my fitness, is the thing that will run out first. Should have gone with grass in a circle and plants outside. Grass in a circle and what? This is already happening, pizza. I sound empty, like, <laughs> like soulless. Now, is that a mic issue or is that like a personal problem issue that I have just with my personality? <laughs> to charge it or pick up some extra. I was talking to Mike about the F-150 Lightning. It could power a house for three days. Like hollow and dead inside? Yeah, that's more of my, my personality issues. I don't think that's a microphone issue. But yeah, I went to a native nursery and oh my gosh. If I can recommend one thing to anyone, do not buy plants from box store. The stuff I have here now, most of it has come from a box store. Would not recommend that at all. There are the price differences between like Home Depot, Lowe's, and a native nursery, very minimal. I didn't feel like I overpaid for anything today. I have been watching Lucifer recently. Uh, season five, part two just came out. So maybe I did lose my soul to the devil. Any here, anyone here watch Lucifer? I was binging that last night. I was actually up till 12.30. I'm a in bed by 11 kind of person. Went pretty crazy. But I got half of the tilling done and I got a really bad sunburn on my back while doing it which makes sense because hunched over like this, back exposed to the sun. I didn't have a burn on my front. You watched the first two episodes. Yeah, Lucifer is great. 
I don't know what to watch lately. Is it recommended? If you haven't watched any Lucifer, like the whole relationship drama drags on. But I love like the whole any show. Like if there's a show about like the Greek gods and like their interactions of being a normal person, I think that'd be kind of cool. I always like like that mythical sense in human presence, making human mistakes. Like one uh, book series I really liked, which I still need to read the two most recent ones, The Dresden Files, because it brings like just the myth mythical or supernatural to, to life. Lucifer is, if the devil, the literal devil, uh, just was hanging out with the people doing things around here. He owns a bar in Los Angeles. <laughs> And he is a um, police detective consultant. Oh, this is just sand. Yeah. That's another good reason to plant native plants, because native plants like native soil. So all the plants I got... Um, are perfectly fine to grow in dry, sandy soil. TV show, yeah, I heard they tried a TV show. Is this already charged? No, it's at 92%. I don't know why it's beeping on me now. Why are, you, why are you beeping? Is it the battery pack getting too hot in my back pocket? I wouldn't be surprised. I'm going to unplug this. Yeah, I haven't read the recent books, but I loved, loved them. What's up, Warhorse? Oh, I forgot I'm wearing these gloves so I can't really slide. Skip the first three books. Yeah, I guess the first three books don't really add much story-wise. You want to see the sand? Sand. Camera's roughly the same spot. Uh, Captain Jack, check weather. Let's we'll see if that works. Now, the weather station that shows up is right there in the corner. That's the weather station. Oh, Watson, he hears people. He just wants to say hi. Well, the weather station is live backyard, and it's also the real fuel temperature that I posted on there. I pulled the real fuel. Real fuel includes the current wind speed and also the UV index. UV index is probably, what, a 10 today? Hey, what are you doing? You playing in the dirt? Wow, it's 96.9. Yeah. Definitely feels like it. Yep, that's uh, the real feel. That includes UV index. Yeah. Yep, this is definitely nutrient deficient. I'm going to start a compost pile in that corner of my yard over there. With, this is going to be the initial start to my compost, this grass right here. Watson, don't lick the pots. T 
Todd's tennis ball. What's up, Sandy Cat? Joanna, what's up? 50-50? Comp, 50-50 uh, like brown matter to other matter? Uh, do you, does he have a toy? Oh, I'll let him back inside so he can enjoy the AC if he wants here soon. All his toys are inside. His friends are inside too. He's giving me the face to go back in, so I might let him go back in. When he, um, he like with you guys, uh, he's under the patio there, so it's nice and shady. He has water there. For your compost bins? 50 greens, 50 browns. Yeah, it's roughly that, yeah. I need to add, I have oak trees and oak leaves are supposed to be really good. I'll see what happens. It'll be my first compost pile. But yeah, well, this was green at one point. Watson toy. Does he have a kitty? I almost bought one today. A treat for Watson. We'll give him a treat before I let him back in. Let me get another row down here. Ooh, red worms. Yeah, they look good in the compost pile too. Watson, do you want a treat? Are you ready? Can you sit? Good boy. Okay, this one's from Augie. You ready? Good boy. Can you sit pretty? Sit pretty. Sit pretty. Sit pretty. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? That's right, you are. All right, come on. Let's go. Go back in the AC for a bit, bud. I'll let you back out later. Come on, go back in. I have a fan I could use too, but. Ghosts, oh, did it do the RTMP glitch? Did it RTMP glitch where I was here, then I wasn't here? Ooh, that was a tough area right there. The glitch is funny. <laughs> Black soldier fly larvae to decompose your kitchen waste. They work. Ooh, I don't know anything about those. Yeah, the so compost thing is kind of like my next learning adventure. I learned all about Florida native plants and all that stuff. My next adventure is going to be the compost information. Because right now, when I do collect my yard clippings, like when I mow, I just put them in the bin and the bin people take it. But look at this grass now, it's so, I mean, it's so dry here. 40% chance of rain for the next 10 days every day. So hopefully we get some good rain here. Like I have a rain barrel now with no water in it. <laughs> That's how dry it is. Uh, that is an actual glitch. <laughs> Did you call it CBYD? CBYD? County B... As in, if there's any electrical stuff, I'm not going deep. No. All my septic stuff is over there. And also there are trees planted here too, so. There's already a root system in the area. They're full to the brim, geez. Yeah, I'm not digging any deeper than this. This is just getting the grass off. If they put, if they're putting cables and tubes in the grass layer, <laughs> I'm not digging any holes here. And when I dug these, that and this, I just checked with my metal detector. Yeah, everything comes in through my top there too. My mainstay is up there for internet and stuff. 
which will suck in a hurricane because I don't have underground lines. And I'm also backyard. Uh, Florida usually feeds those things from the front. <gasps> cardinals, stay still. The only thing that eats from these feeders are like cardinals. I get so many cardinals. Charge at work, drive home, run to the house. Baby. Could you imagine? Run my house by charging and stealing my employer's electricity. But make sure you keep your garage door open so you don't get carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> oh wait, I don't want this in my pocket. There's a bounce house over there. I wonder if they're having a party. Yeah, that's what, so I got some beauty berries. They're pretty big bushes. And I plan to eventually just fill up along the fence row, just random plants and stuff. Um, I should put like a tree in here, but I don't know. A tree, a tree right here would help a lot. But my, my septic system is over there and right there is my leech field. So, I'm always hesitant with trees because of the roots. So what's the idea? Removing the grass to then, I'm gonna put, um, I got two bags of manure, I'm gonna mix through there, and I'm gonna layer mulch, and then we're gonna put plants in. From this, yes, we're finally creating an oasis from this wasteland. This is a really bad day to do this because it makes the backyard look like a desert. I swear, it doesn't always look like this here. No pond. I didn't. I, I wanted to do this today. Pond would have delayed it. It was my long weekend. So I had a little extra time in my life. So this was my weekend project, and a pond would have made it my next weekend project. We'll say probably doing this in Florida is a bit easier because you're just digging in sand. No dig? I have not. Pretty small. Yeah, I was just gonna put like a little one in the middle if anything. Gators or iguanas. <laughs> I don't see many iguanas this far north. Usually they're like a a Keys Miami thing. So southeast. Florida. Southwest maybe too. I don't know. I haven't. We don't get the uh, falling iguana warnings when it gets cold. Great size for the hot tub. I almost bought a, a kiddie pool for Watson, but I couldn't fit it in my car with all the plants. And I got dog food and some bird food and some other things as well. But I almost got a kiddie pool for Watson. No digging, he just covers the weeds and grass with cardboard. Oh, cardboard's an interesting idea. But like if I wanted to plant a tree back here for more, more cover, that wouldn't work too great. Hot tub stream. Yeah, Watson would love that. Eventually, I'll probably get him something like that. Sometimes I get too much grass in one. Average water bill, I don't, I don't know what it is per month. So my water bill is included with my trash. Um, 
and wastewater and little storm waters on that too. But trash and all that stuff combined, I think I'm at like, I don't know, I forget what it is. Nineteen hundred gallons a month, I think, is what I've used. To a certain distance, so roofs don't suck water from the farm itself. That makes sense. Yeah, I'm not sure what if I'll do anything tree-wise, to be honest. If anything, maybe like scrub-styled trees, oaks. It should be split. I mean, they show the differences on that bill, but all my utilities, except for electricity, is on a separate one. But city utilities, not FPL, all gets its own bill. Well, it's just, I have like all my bills budgeted together as one. So. It's just a set budget each month, and as long as I'm not going over it, I'm good. Now, if I get close to going over it, then I'll look at it closer to see where my issues are. Some are usually, you go over a bit because of electricity bill, but then electricity is lower during winter to make up for it. How much shadow? Need? Yeah, it's mainly just for bird cover. I thought about building a roof on this thing just so the birds could have a little extra cover here from any hawks that could be watching them. But how is everybody's day going? You hear all the cardinals? American, did you say you're doing some gardening this weekend too? Do you know Twitch has a gardening tag? I should be using that today. Should say that as one of my tags. So they, oh, they're true. I have to check them out. Gardening tag, no worries. Sweet. Yeah, I've been trying to explore tags. Like yesterday, I used photography and hiking as two new tags. I, don't, I know no one really cares about the tag system and things like that, but I like to think if someone's like browsing the tags or something like that, they might come across it. Nice. Basil and some peppers. Yeah, I, right now I'm not focused on myself yet, as in foods for myself. Right now I'm just focused on foods for the butterflies <laughs> and birds and bees. Next up, I'll get like a bee colony over there and become a side beekeeper. Doc's honey. No. Doc's sweet. Juice. Honey. I don't know. What should I call my, my honey that I make? Transplanting. Nice. Are you uh, pizza? Do you focus on getting like native stuff? Like I feel bad that I bought crotons and this variegated chiflera here because that's not native. Pretty much anything at the box store is like a slightly different version of native. Like this is a purple salvia, but not the right kind of purple. I got a uh, tropical sage, which is the right kind of salvia. It's not liar leaf. I thought that was liar leaf salvia or liar leaf sage when I bought it, the purple one right there. And these ones here are Black-Eyed Susans, but I don't know if they're the same Black-Eyed Susans that I got from the native nursery. Cilantro, radish, even lettuce is if allowed to go. Ooh, nice. Oh yeah, bird feeders in the yard, super nice. Remember recently watching, oh yeah, nursery, because they're nursing plants from when they're young. <laughs> Steps also, if you don't come back, I'm stuck in, oh no, bees on you, <laughs> W, W4 bees, that's a good one. 
Zombie, yeah, I, I learned about that. I made a few mistakes so far with my gardening adventures. One was buying those. I'll just put those out front. I'm, I think I'm going to remove a bunch of ferns out there. Um, and the crotons, too. I'm going to transplant them and put some of my other flowers I got today in there. And then, yeah, so a few mistakes. So I do have sunflowers, but sunflowers grew from my bird seeds. Here. Yeah, but so today I got the um, tropical sage salvia. That grows best in this dry, um, sandy soil with lots of sun compared to the liar leaf salvia. Um, I got some, they gave me some Biden's albicans seeds. It's called a beggar ticks. It's that stuff that sticks to you when you go out for a hike. <laughs> but so I have to grow those from nothing. They said they don't sell it because they just pick seeds and give them to people. It says it because they're so common. They had another type of Biden's there, but they said it was more of a wetland style Biden's. So it wouldn't work for my current project. They were great. I really, I should reach out to them uh, about doing a stream on just Florida native plants, how to do your own like butterfly gardens and things like that. That could be a neat idea. I don't know if it's something you'd be interested in watching. Because, I mean, I had so many questions for them today, just asking them things. But that's just like my interest and things like that. I think it'd be cool to do, see if they'd be interested in doing something like butterfly garden outreach or just native plant outreach because I got firebush too and apparently the box store firebush isn't the native firebush go figure firebush that I have isn't the firebush that's in Florida the firebush in Florida has bigger leaves and fuzzy tips on the leaves <laughs> nice American so Little things like that I learned today. And also, have you ever heard like, if a plant isn't quite invasive, but it might be like friendly? Like we have, it's saying Florida friendly. So what does Florida friendly mean? Like technically it means it won't risk taking out other species, so it's not declared invasive, but Florida friendly doesn't mean it can grow without fertilizers. So you still might need to use fertilizers and things like that. Even though it's Florida friendly, it might not necessarily be Florida super friendly for environment growing wise in your yard. And so I got shrimp plants. I thought that they're not necessarily native, but they're considered Florida friendly. So, you know, local foraging too. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of places around here are like sanctuaries. So like some of the plants I got today, we actually saw yesterday. Um, which one was it? Yeah, I got the um, the partridge pea. And we saw a partridge pea yesterday during the hike. So like, yeah, I could have foraged that during the hike, but it was in a sanctuary, I wasn't gonna do that. Wild coffee's everywhere, but I decided to buy it. And also, you know, a local business. Florida weather friendly, that too, yeah. Add them all together. Holy cow, I almost missed that. Add them all together. Thank you for the resub. Nine months, we have a Twitch baby now. That's what the, the kids say. <laughs> but you've only been following me for nine months. Add them all together. You keep following and unfollowing, and it just shows up as a subscription alert. I am not Florida friendly. Support God being Garden Opix. Looks at his big watch. I know, right? Why do you keep looking at your wrist? All right, do this route, and then I'm going to chug some water. It's so fun to watch this stuff in time lapse because it looks like it was done fast and easy. <laughs> now, if I had an electric tiller, yes, of course, I would have been done. But you guys are here to watch my pain, right? Spatula. First of her name. <laughs> oh, rock 
there's something down here. Oh, it's a piece of bark. It just happened to be right under the tines. Quite a flat land, I know, right? Florida native garden. Yeah, I bet there are. Like, I had tons of great... Odd Pretender, thanks for the follow. -up. I had tons of great questions, and like I said, this is a new... You, got, you all know how I get on projects and hobbies and things like that. I'm always rotating my hobbies and into new things. But I don't forget the old things, of course. I'm just very diverse. I don't just stick to one hobby. And right now my hobby is learning about backyard landscaping. I haven't done anything in my front. This is kind of like my playground is back here right now before I learn the skills and show things off in the front. Find oil. <laughs> Oh, my camera might. If uh, stream switches off, is because the camera shut off. I think there's a 30 minute delay or auto shut off on the Nikon. So we'll keep an eye on that. HOA? No HOA. That's why I chose the spot I chose. I don't like HOAs. Yeah, they help equity. Screw equity. Cardinals. You see the cardinals? Yeah, that's not a fan of HOAs. They're always like cookie cutter style places and you have a blade of grass growing in your driveway, and you get a letter in the mail for it. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's just my HOA rant. My old, where I used to live, it was an HOA where my uh, roommate was the owner. Like, he couldn't even park his boat in his driveway. So we had to fill our garage with a boat, <laughs> with a modified trailer to fit in a garage. You would immediately be on the HOA. I know, right? My can wasn't removed by 5 p.m. on garbage day from the side of the street. Letter in the mail. Like dumb stuff like that. Like some HOAs, is, they have like... You have to put your can out at 7 and remove it by 5 p.m. or something like that. Because, God forbid, you have a garbage can sitting along the street and making the street look like garbage. On garbage day. HOAs are a way for like passive aggressive Karens to make it feel like they have power. Ugh. I think there's a root down here. Yeah, true. Yeah, not having neighbors is definitely the, the best option, but not the option available to everyone. I think there's a big rock down here. Let's figure this out. Oh, 
have down here. Oh, yep, yeah, it's a big, it's like a root. <laughs> this is what I was hitting. Let's throw this off to the side. Watson will play with that later. <laughs> Less neighbor, more death, less neighbor. Oh, I should have brought a sweat towel out. Oh, I did bring a sweat towel. Did I bring it? Oh, no, I don't want to use that one. That one's nasty. I'm going to go get a sweat towel. For the thing pile. <laughs> Dang, look at that big puff of grass that's come up. Jeez, those neighbors have a bounce house. Now those neighbors have a bounce house. I feel like I'm the neighbor without a bounce house now. I know, Watson would totally love a bounce house. Actually, he'd probably be really scared in it. <laughs> he'd be so hesitant of it. Dog sounds like it's dying. No water well? No. City water. I have septic system. That's over that part of the yard. I swear you can't see it, but it's where the grass is a little greener. <laughs> Grass is so crabby. So now, how do we get a yellow lab, like Watson here, out of a black lab father? So Watson's father, his name's Max, had to have had a recessive trait in the pigment to be expressed in the hair. <laughs> there we go. Usually I'm the crabby. I'm never crabby. When am I crabby? Yep, this is Florida. This is hot Florida. Captain Jack, check weather. A little less on this one. That's up over. <laughs> Captain Jack, check weather. And then I could be, I almost got a pull for Watson, uh, but could I be in the hot tub and pulls category then if I got a swimming pool for Watson? Must be hot. Yep. Definitely hot. Ninety six point five. Thanks, Pookie. You know that's really helpful for me because I don't know what it says when it pops up.
This morning was really pleasant, actually. Oops, I gotta turn around. Try a different angle here, here soon. <laughs> Yuru. He never waters it. Oh, so that's real feel pizza. That includes the UV index and whatnot. Wind speed, humidity. If you do explanation point weather, that'll say the actual temperature. Watching tubs, could you imagine? That'd be so funny. Next, ooh, that's gonna be hot. But you know, you get used to the heat here and you usually don't end up doing things like this in the middle of the day. Florida, you learn how to get things done early morning or in the evening. Evenings can be rough too. Like Florida summer, it's not abnormal to see people mowing their lawns at 7 a.m just because that's when you know it won't rain. Look how far we got. Oh, Miro, lots of plants. If you're on my Instagram, you can look at my current Instagram story. And I posted pictures of all the plants. They're all right over there right now. We're gonna get to them, but all Florida native plants. For the most part. I had a few mistakes when buying them, but it's not like I'm not going to plant them now. But nothing invasive, of course. And the cardinals are so pissed because I'm next to their feeder. But I have things like beauty berry, uh, wild coffee. Um, Black-eyed Susans. Uh, what else? Oh, geez. Iron le ironwood. What's it called? Ironwood firebush. Uh, white milkweed. Got some partridge pea. What was that one called? I forget. Some tropical sage. Some shrimp plant, which that's the one that's not Florida native. Yeah, it's called like shiny coffee, wild coffee. This is my uh, security camera that I have so I can watch the birds. Instagram account when it somehow figure out who my sister is despite never, what? That is creepy. The, no, it's not really feeding birds. It's just I'm trying to get more birds in my backyard. <laughs> trying to make it more of an inviting area for them. And also like uh, milkweed is good for the monarchs. Now you gotta be careful with milkweed though because there's tropical milkweed and then uh, Florida native milkweed. Tropical milkweed is a bit more invasive. I'm not gonna be putting milkweed in here. I'm gonna have milkweed in planters um, off to the side. Because milkweed likes a little bit more shade than what's gonna be out here. Because this is full sun. This is the south side of my house. Now, tropical milkweed will probably grow in here fine. Um, it's very resilient and spreads very easily. So I plan to keep that one nipped whenever it produces buds. Really? Yeah, I have a security camera here that's motion detection that is my backyard security camera. But it conveniently lets me know when birds are here. And it's always cardinals. I have so many cardinals. I think there's some younger juvenile cardinals here now. Cardinals and 
red-bellied woodpeckers. That's all I get. Every now and then, this morning I had a tufted tit mouse. So I do get some tits in here sometimes. My spine would kill me. The milkweed, yeah, I've been learning all about it. So Florida native ones are the butterfly milkweed, the swamp milkweed, which I think is the one I got, which is the white milkweed. They had three different forms at the nursery. They had another one, but they said something about it needs to be covered. And it's just like, it sounded like a little bit too much work for me. And since I'm just learning plant stuff and I'll have a lot of different stuff going on out here. So yeah, I just went with the white one. But yeah, the tropical one is what they sell in like Home Depot and Lowe's. So people buy that thinking, you know, it's great. And monarchs like it and monarchs can eat it all year around, but, and it's helped the monarch species, but it's also introduced some diseases into the monarchs, I believe. Uh-oh, Pookie, what's that clip? Well, Instagram's the creepy one there. <laughs> but yeah, I think you can still see my story on Instagram, even if you don't have an account. Was there another ghost moment? Oh, the baby red belly. Oh, that's such a good one. Pookie, did you make that Botatones profile picture <laughs> in Discord? Is that what I saw? GCGY, G1, G0, G1, G2, or G0? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's up, Ramble? G0. <laughs> yeah, G0 is the um, when a cell is in a normal phase where it's not going to divide. So, like your neurons and stuff are typically in like the G0 phase. GG is the right answer. I'm surprised it just didn't give you credit for being close on spelling. We're almost done here, peeps. We have a lot to go today, though. Don't worry. Oh, I should have taken a before and after picture. Oh, well. Shit happens. Close guesses, yeah, probably. Relatively easy to cultivate. Yeah, they're tough. Yeah, I only I got this one because they said to be easier. <laughs> so let's hope I can let it live. <laughs> Not particularly suburbia friendly, yeah. Oh, I was mentioning how I don't grow things I eat yet because most of my stuff is watered by rainwater, and you're not supposed to use rainwater for your veggies and whatnot. So I haven't moved to planting veggies and stuff like that quite yet, just because I use my rainwater for watering. Because you don't want to use roof runoff. <laughs> roof has a whole bunch of chemicals in it to grow your vegetables. This example also except South Korea. <laughs> That's clearly a problem. Yes.
Hope you guys are enjoying this suffering here. Definitely what it's starting to feel like. It doesn't look like I've done much. But if you're watching since the beginning, it's been a little bit of effort so far, huh? I'm actually dripping off my chin now. Roofs are, exactly, that's why nicely you don't want to use um, roof runoff from your rainwater bin to grow vegetables. But growing plants and stuff, it's deemed okay. <laughs> this cardinal's so pissed. You got my food, bro. Terracotta tile, that could work too. But chemicals give flavor. With all the chemicals, true, that pizza. I don't know. I don't know. And the extreme, I know, right, Sandy Cat? Thank you, Sandy Cat. Some people in here, like, no fear, would say I haven't done enough, or I'm lazy, or this doesn't count as exercise, because he likes to give me a hard time. finds joy in it. I wish I had this thing when I dug these little circle things earlier. I know I'm getting some mulch in here, but I'd rather get this grass out. Plus I'm probably gonna freshen all the mulch up in here anyway. Alrighty. Step one. Done. We'll open up our bin. <laughs> My water's here. I'm exhausted watching. <laughs> this is work, not exercise. I love doing this stuff. Oh, local weather, as in right there. Captain Jack, check weather. Yeah, don't fall to the ceiling like me. Use a cow right now. And make some hay. Look at all that grass that came up out of that. Isn't that wild? Huh? A red bellied. It's gone down two degrees. Nice. Oh, did it not show? Captain Jack, check weather. You remember how, that's crazy, Pookie. Go, go see anything. Oh, American, I didn't know about that. Mulch is only like two, three dollars a bag. I think I paid three dollars a bag for the stuff I got today. So mulch doesn't break the bank, at least. Captain Jack, are you not working? Captain Jack, check weather. There it is. Move bar cleared. Normalize your commands. Well, that one's slightly different than the other weather one.
showing weather the command would be well no that commands to tell me that the command work and it's currently showing you all the weather so that voice command it has to be a voice command because i activate a, a source on my obs to pump up the thing on the bottom of the screen That used to always be on my overlay, but I wanted to clean up my overlay to make it less stuff going on. Since I've just, for any YouTube edits, mostly I've just been downloading the stream and then editing that. And I've realized it's a lot easier if I don't have the weather stuff up there and all that other junk. Get free compost. Co oh, no, I don't think we have that. That's kind of cool. Nope, I plan to just start dumping all this in the corner of my yard over there. Veggie fruit going. Oh, okay. I was wondering what VFG stood for. From the West Coast. Yeah. I haven't heard anything here for that. Should try to stay downwind from the dirt. You have hypers. Yay, hypers. Of course I have hypers. If there's any, um, I probably have some openings. There's because I play for Nitro. Oh, not Nitro. For the Pro for BTV. So if you ever realize there's an emote I need to add, just let me know. Found a piece of metal. This. No, I know, right, American? <laughs> Isn't YouTube awesome where you can learn things like that? Always check the comments on videos, though. Make sure what they're saying is actually correct information. Comments are turned off. Most likely not correct information. Which is gardening. Well, I was just kind of saying an asterisk for like learning everything you know on YouTube, <laughs> especially in the science field. So I still have a whole bunch of pieces laying in here. So let me see if I can use my claw. I found this metal detecting. I actually don't know what it is. It just has one prong on it. <laughs> but I was using it the other day to go through and pick out individual pieces here.
Maybe this is what it's actually meant for. I don't know, but it works well for this. Like I said, this doesn't need to be perfect. But I can make it as nice as possible. I should get a bring my bucket over here. Coming together though. Look, we have a dirt patch. a patch of dirt instead of I have a jar of dirt. Fine print, you never know the amount you're getting. What's that one? Get chip drop. Oh, that's kind of cool. If my crack ever shows, let me know. Don't let me be doing this work with my crack out. Full truck load. <laughs> now that would be a stream snipe, huh? A pile of mulch just shows up in someone's driveway. Just like, uh. That's a very low problem. It's always a concern when you're streaming, all right? Whenever I'm bending over on cam, it's always on the back of my mind. Is what's my backside doing? Winston, so is, wait, no, Watson. Watson's my dog. So not the same, I don't think. I didn't know her cat was named Winston. Wait, that means she had to leave her cat at home, huh, during her trip. Good figure, good pants. <laughs> I think the belt is the most important part. But my underwear might pop out. And that's almost just as bad. Like Sherlock Holmes, exactly. Not like the misogynist who discovered the structure of DNA, because why would I accidentally name my dog after that ass? You know, that would never happen. <laughs> A treat for Watson. Next time we let him out, he's in there sleeping on the, at the door right now. Just hanging out, being a good boy. I'm letting him out of the heat for a bit. Sometimes he doesn't know how to slow down while out here playing. How you doing today, Kim? All right, like I said, this doesn't need to be perfect, but I just want to try to prevent 
grass gross in the future just a little bit. Oh yeah. <sighs> yeah, it is super sandy. Oh yeah, he understands that word. He definitely understands that word. No pizza. No, bad pizza. I don't think I've ever seen a cat back here. That's the nice thing about these motion detectors. Okay, I'm gonna move this off to the side, but Alrighty, we got all the grass out and we got it all tilled. It's hot and that was a lot of work. So we're moving slow today, but we're slowly getting there. Next up, I'm going to put the, I got some um, uh, manure. Got some compost and manure that I'm gonna mix through here and then we're gonna put the layer of mulch down and then I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna put all these plants. I might dig up some of the other ones that I want to move around and transplant them somewhere else. That way we could focus on some of the new ones. And I'm going to leave one side without manure and compost because there's a type of flower I got that doesn't necessarily like it. So I just want to leave that one in the sand and to not kill it from the start. And yeah, technically you don't really, you could just put all the plants right in the soil. They're all Florida natives. So you don't have to think about it that much. <laughs> I know, right, Ark? Here, we'll move this. Man, it's so dead out here. Off to the side. So it's not seen. Oh, by the way, exclamation point YT if you want to, if you miss the build for the rainwater barrel. That video went live this morning. Woo. I'm going to run in and get a box cutter. Oh, come on, stay. Everyone chill, everyone chill. <sighs> All right, look at that. All that dirt. But yeah, if you missed the um, rainwater barrel build, that video went live. It was weird though. Um, there was like a part in that video where it starts out dark and then the light fixes itself. So it looks like I have like a filter on the camera. Cow manure and organic compost. I bought shit today. Hold on, the dogs are fighting. What are you guys doing? Huh? You guys okay? Hey, you good. Do I need to separate you? Huh? Are you guys okay? Go lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. You're the guest here. Be nice. Let me get you all some more water. Oh, the um, list. Unfortunately, you have to go to my YouTube to see it. Not my YouTube. Ugh, my Instagram story. I put it in my Instagram story. I'm 
might put one to the side. Are you okay, Watson? Hmm? All right, Nana, get in there, lay down. You started a fight, so I gotta put you to the side on timeout. What's up, Ava? How are you doing? What are we building today? A rain, not uh, a butterfly garden, of course. Just checking Watson, making sure he's okay here. All right, Watson, come on. Yeah, I'm babysitting or puppy sitting two dogs. Hello. Ava, what are you doing inside? What are you doing inside today? That is a beautiful day. Remember where I rank? There's nice weather, and then there's watching my streams. Mmm, cow manure. Oh, everyone's seeing Watson pee? Good boy, Watson. If you eat any of this, you're going inside right away. You got it? Going out down a bit. <laughs> oh yeah, food is slightly above me too. You just, you... <laughs> I did. Watson, don't even think about it. Watson, don't pee on it, no. Nope. Mmm. It doesn't even smell bad. It's probably not good quality. <coughs> oh, just two bags. Not a lot. Like I said, all the stuff I got doesn't really need this to work well. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just kind of laying it down so it's not just sand and the dryness of the sand. Shouldn't smell it. Watson, no. There, I need to start charging my phone a little bit. It didn't stink not as much as I thought it would. Let's spread it around now. Watson, don't eat the stick. Come on. Watson. I know this isn't much in terms of the area, but like I said, I don't want a heavy layer of it. It's just to add some stuff to the sand. Hey, Watson. No, I'm gonna put the stick up. Cause you just, you don't shred the stick, you eat the stick. And then you have to poop stick. Do you know how that works? It's a sweet smell, really? Man, I'm learning so much today. Ooh, the sun's back out. Did it just get a lot brighter? Now, should I put the plants in and then the mulch? I think that's how it goes, right? The 
It's not much, but it's quality shit. <laughs> What's a poop stick? When did I say poop stick? Mulch last. Okay. I might have to transplant, move some other plants around too. Watson, don't walk through right there. That's where all my cables are, bud. There's so many other routes you could take. They're a good boy. <laughs> There, it's a good spreading of the shit. What's up everyone? I never said poop stick. You're hearing things, David Alexander. It's because you're of your old age. Oh, you eat stick and you'll poop the stick. Okay, I did say poop stick. It was just, I'm not holding a poop stick. He'll just poop the pieces of stick. Road ra rage mode ginger, what's up? Oh yeah, I have shade right here. You guys are all in shade right now, actually. <laughs> Sit in hot tubs, not us. We watch a man spreading shit around. Yes. Welcome to Twitch, where you can watch hot tub people, hot tub streamers, and people spreading shit. This is an educational stream, by the way. Exclamation point TKF. American guilty. The only hot tub streamer I watch is Lipsticks, just because local friend. What are you doing, Watson? You can wheel me around. <laughs> Perfect. Wait, she got banned again? What for this time? Like actual banned? I saw she got a suspension for 24 hours. We're both working? Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. Huh. My oh, wet tail. Oh. Watson, I think someone redeemed a treat. There you go, easy. Good boy. Do you know how good of a boy you are? Durr. Oh, I might as well use the rest of that garden soil too, just to get rid of it. Stay hydrated. I'm going to go fill this up with ice then, too. I tried to warn her, but no, she'll... Jeez. Oh, good job, Liv. Yeah, she's back now. I saw her streaming, like, yesterday, I think. Oh, this thing has two bars on it. Faisaria, what's up? You know starch face? Whew. Captain Jack, check weather. I think it got hotter. I thought the breeze just slowed down a bit. Hey, thank you for the follow. Right, I'm gonna go fill this up with ice and water. I know you guys are hearing the ice machine. Temp is lower. Oh my gosh. Or maybe it's just I was working harder there. Cool to watch. Hey, well, welcome, Faye. We don't just do gardening stuff here. We do bird photography, well, wildlife photography, hiking, and outdoor content, metal detecting, kayaking, and things like that. I'm just doing some homework, home work at home. 
right now, and we're putting in a butterfly garden. Can you wait, auto mod? <laughs> right under sun, yeah. I should check to see what the UV index is on my indoor thermometer. Hey, I see that check mark. What do you stream? What else is starch into watching out there? Let's see. It says UV index is only an eight, but 925 watts per meter squared. That's pretty high. Pretty high amount of solar energy coming through right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Music art. Wait, microscopy? What? I've done microscopy on stream before. What sort of things do you look at? That's super cool. I have to remember to give you a follow then. Alrighty, let's look at my plants. Phone, stop it. I haven't done microscope stuff on stream before in a while though. Hold on, I'm gonna change uh, batteries on my chat phone here. I think it's, nope. Getting a different battery here quick. Sorry, in and out a lot right now, but I don't want my chat phone to die on us. Planet Lake Water and Moss Lake, awesome. Hey, um, check out exclamation point TKF. Not to sell ourselves, and that, they'll send you to a list of um, educational streamers, and there's a big group of them under life sciences that do microscopy on stream. So, you'd probably be super David interested in that stuff. Oh, David Alexander, thanks. And we're always looking for new, fun, educational streamers. There's uh, one guy uses a scanning electron microscope, too, and looks at diatoms. So I was like, it's really, really cool. Really, really cool group of people. Highly recommend it. It's always cool finding... The people who love doing like educational and sharing things like that. So Starch, thank you for watching. Show that so that I would show up unrecommended and that we could introduce other microscopy streams. So that Fay know that they are not alone in the world. Diatoms attack. Yep. Their bounce house has water coming down of it. That means it has a water slide. Oh, I'd show it, but it's someone else's house. Alrighty, time to show our bushes. I have pictures of each one, so we'll go through each one and I'll show you, <gasps> Cardinal. Oh, it flew away, Never mind. Never mind. So, first one. I have my notes here. I don't know if we want to make a list or not. I believe, which one is it? Which one's the ironweed? It's one of these two. Lots of no, don't do that. I gotta check them. All my plants are, no, don't eat that, no. No? Oh, that's goldenrod. This one's the ironweed then. Here, you wanna come out, Briggs? There you go, come on. If you see another dog, that's Briggs. I just wanna make sure I'm showing you all the correct flower here. I believe this is the correct one. Actually, I'll just show it last, I guess. So I'm new to all these flowers, um, so just figuring them out today. All right, so right here's the goldenrod. And the music's actually awesome. Some bouncy bounce. Should I go over to the bounce house? God, I wish I had one like that. I'd pick up, I'd dig that bed, put a foundation, and make a telescope here. <laughs> All right, first plant we have right here. 
This one is called Seaside Goldenrod. So, native range, eastern U.S. to South Florida, Bahamas, and Mexico. Uh, colony forming around ground cover to one foot, blooming stalks four to six foot. Flowering season, uh, late summer to fall, full sun, and partial shade. So I think this makes like a yellow flower. So let's remember yellow. So seaside, well, goldenrod makes sense. But Briggs, no. Briggs, don't pee on that. Briggs, no. Briggs, no. No. Come on, Briggs. Come on, Briggs. So where do we want this one? This one goes about a foot tall. Let's put it just temporarily right there. We got a raid. Coolian, thanks for the raid. How is your stream today? Our great insect plants. Yes. So all the in, all the plants I got are supposed to be good for insects, bees, and butterflies. So it's supposed to be inviting for birds to eat things. And also, I think all of them are safe for Watson too. I almost bought an elderberry, which is not which is toxic to dogs. Okay, next one is a yellow plant. We saw this one yesterday. Well, it's not yellow right now, and it's kind of um, shy. This one is a partridge pea. So we saw this one at the scrub sanctuary yesterday. Um, it almost looks like little ferns for the leaves, but it grows these yellow flowers, and it's super cool. So Massachusetts to South Florida to Texas is its range. It gets about four foot annual um, flowering season, spring to winter. So this one will be yellow. So kind of just finding random spots for the plants out here right now. <laughs> we'll rearrange them then. Yes, yeah, so that, that one is what it is, right? Yeah, this one is Kame Krista fasciculate. Or get off my lawn, really. <laughs> Just like David Alexander. Will we add a fountain? No, no fountain. <laughs> okay, next one here, I believe, is this one. So I got two of these. Yeah. Is it this one? Oh, let me check real quick. All right, we'll do the coffee one next, actually. That'd be easiest. Oh, this is a heavy one. Ugh. This one we see around a lot naturally, too. This is called shiny leaf coffee. You might see it referred to as wild coffee. Now, this doesn't make coffee beans that uh, you turn into coffee then, but it does produce a berry that birds like. So, wild coffee here. This, so, Cy Psychotria nervosa. And this is Ru Rubicio family. Sorry if I'm... Uh, screwing up these names, names, so this can get up to six feet tall, but they make a, like a nice white flower on them. And they make berries in the fall. So, wild coffee. Do it towards the back, because it could get bigger. I also don't want to do any really tall plants over here. So if I have any plants that are going to get a little taller, I'm going to be focusing them on this side, because I don't want things to jump up, things as in squirrels, to jump up into the bird feeder. It's a jasmine? Psychotic nervous. Rubiacio. Yes, yeah, Svi, what's up? I'll never apologize for not being at streams. No, no hummingbird feeders. Um, just because of um, ants and you just got to be very careful. Take care of them. Okay, I have two of these ones. These, these is a big one. These are nice ones. These are, I paid a little bit more for these ones, a little bit more. That's in $12, which when you're looking at a $12 plant, this isn't that bad. Watson, no, 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 stay away from that. Stay away from that. Stay away from that. Anyone know what this one is? Has little purple flowers on it. This is American Beauty Berry, or Calicopra Americana. So this is native around here. Um, so it can get up to nine foot. Late summer to late fall makes these berries that birds love and bees like the little flowers 
that it forms as well. Rubia, Rubia Sia, Sia, C, C, A, A, Rubia Sia, A, was marked territory. <laughs> yes, so this is my main berry producing plant. These things get bead, big, um, so I really like these. I'm gonna probably put one in the corner right here. And I have a second one as well, which has a broken limb. So I got two of these. So I'm gonna probably keep these grouped together in the back corner here, rather than separate them. I think they'll look good back here together. Next to the wild coffee too. Or should I put the wild coffee between them? Yeah. Let's put the wild coffee between them. And then the coffee will bush out. And those will bush out too. And the wild coffee will be white and each of these will be purple. That could look cool. Don't cover your bird. Oh, yeah, I won't do that. No tall plants over there. I could be wrong. <laughs> They're tough to pronounce, aren't they? On four inch potted plants this morning. Yeah, plants are expensive. Corner in an oak. Oh, <laughs> I'm no expert, but I don't think you're correct. All right. Now I got two of these. I'll just show one to you all. So I got two of these ones right here. Uh, this one, these are called tropical salvia. So they got these little red flowers on them. Um, salvia con cocinia is the actual name. Only five bucks for one of these. So not bad at all. Native around here. Um, Short-lived perennial, but it will reseed itself. All year flowering season. And yeah, excellent hummingbird and butterfly attractor. So this is one I definitely wanted. I'll see how well it lives and survives and reseeds itself though. Yep, American salvia uh, cocinia, something like that. Spelling slightly different. <gasps> A diatoms attack raid, we were just talking about you. Yep, cocinia. It's an EA at the end. Diatoms, we were just talking about you as one of the microscopy streamers. Look. We're making our butterfly. I heard you have an amazing garden in your backyard for birds, by the way. But welcome everyone. C-O, C-O-C-C-I-N-E-A. <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about you. So I have two of these. These are red plants. Looks like I got a lot of yellow out here today. So let's try to separate the yellows here. Do maybe something like that. Watson, you're such a chonk sometimes. This channel today, and we we're talking about you. I know, right? <laughs> David Alexander, stop gifted subs, but thank you. <laughs> so, um, with the beauty berry, my friend also gave me some um, to try to plant. It doesn't look too amazing right now, but I'm going to plant this back there too. Like you can see, these are just cutoffs. So, I'm going to see if I can bring them back to life. I'll just do them like here in the corner and see if they come back. Again, it's not a corner, it's an oval. Duh. Dual streamer, yes. Yeah, you've been doing bird streams, I know, I haven't been able to catch one yet. Okay, that was that one. Next one, blanket flower. Oh, that's this one right here. No, is it? Oh no, let's do the milkweed. So this, this one is white milkweed. This one isn't going in the actual garden, 
I think I'm just going to put this one in a bucket off to the side uh, because this one I just want in its own pot. So yeah, this is white milkweed. This is a native Florida milkweed. Uh, it's not tropical milkweed and it makes white buds. So milkweed is important for monarchs. So what the tiger striped um, caterpillars eat the milkweed and that makes them poisonous to birds that eat them. So it's an adaptive feature. Monarchs like it and then yeah, you get monarchs. It's always good to have monarchs. Uh oh, I might block a dog going to the bathroom. <laughs> David on gift sub duty, I know, right? Yes, but be careful with milkweed uh, because the stuff you buy at the box store is tropical milkweed. Oh, he's just peeing. And tropical milkweed, especially in Florida, grows fine all year round and flowers all year round, I think. Um, so it does help the monarchs in a way, but it's also very, in, it's starting to be considered invasive because it spreads so easily. Yeah, I hope so. Lots of butterfly picks. Fluffy, yeah, you, uh, if you grow tropical, it's okay. Just make sure you uh, nip those pods when they grow. Uh, I just will keep an eye. That's why I'm kind of keeping it in a pot. I'll keep it higher up, up so Watson doesn't get into it. Whiskery Ant, thanks for the follow. Welcome. <laughs> so that's why some caterpillars, not some, some butterflies try to look like monarchs because birds don't like to eat monarchs for that reason because they're harmful. So like the golf fritillary and the queen kind of look like monarchs in a way because birds think they're monarchs and don't eat them. Sorry, I'm not wearing my phone right now because I'm trying to get it charged and keep it out of the sun. In the butterfly kingdom, they lead butterflies. <laughs> Red admirals that come to your backyard all summer and they will land on... That's awesome, diatoms. I need to catch your, your streams. Okay, the next one. So I almost bought the wrong type of Bidens. And so I switched these out last minute, so I don't know as much about these and how well they grow, but it's another yellow one. This is called, pardon my language, but it's a damn yellow aster. So southern U.S. to south Florida, annual wildflower to two feet, all year flowering season. Full shade to part sun, should be fine. Um, but yeah, I don't know much about this one, but I got two of them. They're only six bucks, kind of like fillers. But they are yellow, so we'll do one over here. I also have sunflowers. <laughs> I only got yellow flowers, I think. We'll do another one right there. Still a lot to go. Whew. I see a spider that just crawled away from the flowers I've been moving around. All right, so now I'll grab the blanket flower. I got two of these. So this one is the blanket flower. This one is like a red orange flower. And I'm going to put these over on that side over there to fill that part of the section. And these ones also, I think, flower all year. So and they love the full sun. But they don't like compost, apparently. So that's why I'm putting them over here where I put a little less compost. So yeah, both those will go right there and look real nice. We're planting native plants, many think are not exotic. Exactly, yeah. I, like I said, I made a mistake first buying a couple plants that weren't necessarily native. <laughs> Botatone doesn't convert that. <laughs> yes, pandemic. Oh, if you guys saw, um, 
you you should not be in yeah i didn't fill in a lot it's just like a light layer um if you guys saw, there's new uh, point redemptions today. You can make me stop talking. You can direct a raid. You can, what else was there? Oh, one was a key word. So you choose a word that I'm not allowed to say for five minutes. If I say that word within that five minutes, I gift you a sub. I gift a sub to the, or if you already have a sub, you can choose between me gifting a sub to a community or getting VIP for 30 days. Cardinals. So, those are the new uh, ways you can waste your points around here. Oh, speaking of wild coffee, I got a few more small wild coffee plants from my friend that I'm going to put somewhere. I'm just going to spread these ones out randomly, but I'll put them right there for now. Word ban, David Alexander. Okay, so, hey Siri, set timer for five minutes. Okay, your timer is set for five minutes. So, if I say his name in the next five minutes, I have to do one of those things. But you're already VIP. So it'd be gift sub to the community. Is that an obstacle? Red-bellied woodpecker, do you see it? You should have made the keyword a red-bellied woodpecker. There it goes. Nope, you're not going to trick me. Maybe you can probably get me towards the end of the timer, to be honest. What else do we have here? Oh, the black-eyed Susan was this one. So this is just another uh, black-eyed Susan here. So another yellow plant. So I'm gonna put this one over here on this side, right here in the front. Maybe a little bit more over here. <laughs> oh look, a treat. Hey, best friend, would you like a treat? Come here, best friend. Who's a good boy? Good boy. Shouldn't it be too difficult. I mean, I could forget. I could forget. <laughs> did I? Did I just set a five minute timer for that many people? You could ban the word the. I think that wouldn't be not, that wouldn't be fair. Oh, the other dog's showing up now. Oh, and just to show you the difference, it doesn't look beautiful right now, but this, so, uh, this is white milkweed, and this is tropical milkweed. So a slight difference in the leaves. Very, very slight. But this one is the one that spreads very easily. So I'm gonna keep those off to the side. One plant fell up, no! <laughs> Okay, this looks like it's dying, but it'll be fine once I plant it. This is called a fire bush, and apparently this is the box store version that's not necessarily native. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this one right in here though. It's not gonna look nice at the start. It's gonna end up looking, so this is a fire bush right here too. It's got these little like orange things and leaves or whatever, and um, hummingbirds like them. <gasps> Treat! For 30 minutes or so? Ooh, I don't know. If, don't stay away from that, bud. I don't know if I can do that. Come on. Sit. Catch. Good boy. You want one too? Good boy. The other dog is Briggs. He's one of the dogs I'm puppy sitting this weekend. Yeah, we're doing a lot of planting. Is this Florida? Yes, it is. And then this doesn't look pretty, but this one here is called a shrimp plant. Again, this is one I bought that was called Florida Friendly. So I'm gonna put this one 
right here, I think. You go over here. Puppy, yep, I'm watching two dogs this weekend. Pops has been banned. <laughs> Shrimp plants are cool, and that's kind of why I got it, but uh, they're considered Florida friendly, and depending on how much you want to care about. Oh, 50 seconds left. Almost there. The last type we have, what was it called? Oh, yeah, this one's a giant ironweed. Veronia gigantea. This one flowers purple. Southeastern uh, U.S. to South Florida. It's not, no purple flowers on it yet. But like I said, it looks like a weed. No one wants that. And this is why people don't like to do um, native plants sometimes because they're not as good looking. Let's do you right here. Okay, I think I'm gonna move, this might be a bad idea. I'm gonna move you to here. Oh, there's my timer. Sorry, David Alexander. Good try though. There is a cooldown on the word thing like every 30 minutes or so, or every 20 minutes, just so I think. I think I put that as a thing. So now I'm just spreading them out. And I can add like filler stuff in here eventually. I just want to get like the general base down. I also have some um, just regular sunflowers that I grew on my own. <laughs> Watson! I can say your name again. I can say your name again. So, look, I grew this sunflower from bird seed. Look at it. I grew that. And now I'm going to plant it out here somewhere. I think I'm just going to do it like, I have to separate them and put them in different spots. But I'm going to put these in the back for now. The milkweed's going to end up going in those. And I have another one right over here Ugh, with two more sunflowers in them. So these are just going to go in random spots. I also have two sunflowers spotting up over here from the bird seed too that I can move and put somewhere. But those are all my plants. Once those be, yeah, exactly. I'll just take time pizza. We'll see how it looks in like, what? six months, or no, they'll spread their seeds and more can grow too. So yeah, it'll just look a little bit blank, but look at that. Now we can put all the plants in. So we have it all laid out. I don't know if the layout's good or bad or what. I don't know much about plant layout, but yellow, white, red, pink, yellow, red. That one is yellow red, yellow, orange, orange, yellow, red, yellow. Yeah, I have two sunflowers over there too. Beauty berries are purple in the back, so, but I don't want anything too tall over there that a squirrel can climb up on because we don't want squirrels jumping up into the bird feeder. So I think it's okay. Taller ones in the center, is that better? Do you want taller ones in the center? No, no, I'm not eating any of these berries. Only the birds need access to them. That's actually a good idea. A beauty berry right in the middle. The middle should probably be the best plant, huh? Okay, yeah, let's rearrange. Okay, let's rearrange and put taller ones in the center. So that would be the beauty berries. The 
the wild coffee might end up hiding. So I'll do the wild coffee back here. And I'll do sunflowers back here. This can be like a nice little sunflower area, I think. And we'll do some of these coffees over here. Actually, those plants are a little taller too. So let's do a shrimp plant there. Let's do one of these here. We'll switch these around. Sorry, I know I'm talking out loud to myself, but I'm weird like that sometimes. You all know that. Actually, no, that'll work like that. I just put those back in the same spot pretty much. So I have like a couple wild coffees here that are very small that I'll fill in in front of these here. So we'll move this further up. This is fine right there. This is a sunflower. This is the fire bush. So we'll switch these around. Fire bush could get tall as well. This one, was this one yellow or purple? Ironweed is purple. So that one's gonna be purple. Let's get the ironweed away from the beauty berry. Let's hope it's not climbable. Let's do that right there. Sunflowers here. Actually, I'm gonna move the coffee up. Coffee's gonna go here. Fire bush there, because we have a fire bush there that'll separate them a little bit. And I'll do these beauty berry shrubs right there to see if they live. And this, and then sunflowers will just spread throughout. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of liking this a little better. Let's centerize those beauty berries though. I know you all are probably saying stuff. I don't have chat on my wrist at the moment. <laughs> and then this one goes in the middle. Okay, I think that's looking better, right? What'd I miss? Do sunflowers spread like, no, no, no. Yeah, Rambo, I was thinking tall in the back too for a bit. So I'm mostly gonna be looking from my door, which is right there. So I think that'll work if I'm looking from my sliding door. So both all of these um, are okay in full sun and that's why I chose all of these ones. <laughs> Align firebush on the right side. Your right, so one on the left, one on the right. So the thing, firebush can get big. And the only reason I don't want to put a firebush over there is because, I mean, really I should move that shrimp bush up. And that firebush then should go behind it. But I'm worried the firebush will get big and then the squirrels will use the firebush to get onto the bird feeder station. Oh, the sunflower shells can, really? Wait, what's BTTF? You terraformed the garden. Oh, plant fell, F. Your dog's finally caught one. Watson isn't fast enough. He tries. Then the squirrels get on the fence and climb the telephone pole back there. You know what? Squirrels, they can't, they haven't gotten up that. Nope, that's worked. That's worked. Oh, back to the future. Who abbreviates back to the future? Wait, why is this making you want to watch back? Oh, wow, that's heavy. Doc, oh, okay. <laughs> I missed the quote.
Briggs, Briggs, come on. You want to go in? You're heavy breathing. Come on. Oh, I need... I have this shovel. I can use that. What's up, knifey? Look pretty good. Now we plant. Man, everything looks so different because I had this pile of plants over here for a while. Are we ready to plant? Let me get my dirty gloves back on. You was on the set of the burbs after... Burbs? Wait, what's the burbs? Uh-oh, I hear a dog barking. Uh, rainwater and a hose. <laughs> I don't have sprinklers. But, eventually... I can hook an Arduino up to the rainwater system, run a hose, just gravity-fed hose, out to the garden that releases water in different spots, and the Arduino monitors how much rain has been falling recently and say a certain amount of rain hasn't fall, fallen in the last 24 hours. I could link that to my weather station, which is right back there, and then it can turn, open the valve and close the valve based on the recent weather. Yeah, whenever I rented and sprinklers were there, the long guys always ran over sprinkler heads. I don't know what ESP32 is. <laughs> oh, movie of Tom Hanks. What movie? I recently watched a movie of Tom Hanks. It was like the one where he's in the airport. Okay, this one is just, let's see if I can remember all the plant names. I'm trying to learn them all too. I learned a lot this morning. That's why I was like, I want to do a stream with the butterfly people. Um, so this one here, this is just a black-eyed Susan, which I also have over there. But I could see right now there's a slight difference between box store black-eyed Susan, so Home Depot, and native black-eyed Susan. Oh, Wi-Fi is neat. I mean, that's just, yeah. I mean, I could do air humidity. I don't think I can do ground humidity. Oh, that one has some awesome nodules on it. Nice. Okay, this one's a wild coffee. Now this is a three gallon pot, so we gotta go a little deeper here. <laughs> Wait, they're also cheap, neat. Yeah, I've never played around. The only thing I've ever played around with is a raspberry pie. There we go. All right, come back, come back. He's like playing in a sand pit right now.
Probably should have separated those two, huh? They'll be okay. Green Mile. Oh, what's my, I mean, probably, why am I thinking Castaway? Because Saving Private Ryan was pretty good too. What is this? Coach, what coach? Coach K gifting five subs? What? How have you been? Coach K, what are you doing? That's so nice of you. Everyone, we've got a gift stuff from Coach K. Show some nerd love and spam emotes. Any heart love emote you have. Or if you didn't get a gift, a sub spam it anyway. Because that's super kind. Everyone gifting today. You all know better than that. You're breaking my rules here. Don't you guys see that thing that says we don't push for subscriptions and whatnot? <laughs> but no. All your support has helped me do this. And do things like this around the house. Thank you. You are helping the butterflies. I probably should have turned this one. Okay, never again. <laughs> Headstand, is that what I'm supposed to do? There. There's your headstand. I should have thought about this before planting it. There we go. <laughs> What's up, Jamor? That's a name I haven't seen for a while. You think I have the ability to do a handstand? Oh, wait. No, a headstand. That's where you go down like this. I'm too sweaty. I'm slipping. Almost. I tried. It's the best I could do. This is why I leave you all on a shoulder cam and I don't let you see this side of me. Tactical bailout. It was a tactical bailout. It was. Half a second of time. <laughs> no. That was a frog stand, yes. That's exactly what that was. So this one is the beauty berry that I hope comes back to life. Maybe that was the problem. The soil it was in it was really moist. I might not like that. Maybe I watered it too much. So let's see. This is a, a trial back here, just to see if we can bring life back. But I always think things are happier out of the pots, you know? Oh, chat's not. I'm so dirty. How often do I teach now? Well, I'm summer teaching, so I teach Monday through Thursday, 8 to noon. So, teaching on Twitch? I'm trying to find the energy to do it during the weeks. <laughs> you guys notice that hasn't happened for a while. Jumping jacker. Bacon, when am I not doing weird stuff? But yeah, we're back face to face, so I'm back to lecturing for four hours so when i get home i'm like all hot and tired so i'm like i don't feel like streaming man <laughs> you've been busy that's fine happy to see your name glad hope you did well, you never said you're doing well but i hope you're doing well
Wait, what? To fix the root ball? I've already planted a few. What are you talking about? I don't know a lot about planting things. So, you might have to... Should I... I'm doing well. I've said it now. Good. <laughs> For cartwheel. None. Ham loaf. That sounds nasty. Is that like salty ham from a can? Do I like separate the dirt down here a little bit so the roots spread out before covering it in. Am I screwing something up major here? I just always thought this is how you planted things. Okay. I'll have to be better at that doing the rest. Thanks for the, the tip. I can't even do a cartwheel. You just saw my... I have never had coordination my entire life. It is not something I was gifted with. Serge, what's up? Or Sergey, hey. Oh, we would usually, I have not done that. Should I do that too? Is there things I'm doing wrong? <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna water everything once I'm done here. Yeah, water, water will be good while in the hole. Because I was just going to water before mulching here. And then I was going to spread the mulch out. And then put water on the mulch, of course. Yeah, I didn't know that. Either. Soak the hole first. Oh, grass is dead because we haven't had rain in Florida. It hasn't rained for... I think it's rained once for like five minutes since I got back from my trip. I need to soak my holes. Oh, you guys are all about to see something funny then. Add some nitrogen to it. Well, I don't want to use fertilizers and stuff. So we're anti-fertilizer around here. Go get it. It's like a cat with a laser pointer. Come here. Now your head's all wet. Good boy. Watson, back. I'm wet in my holes. Watson, no. I'll get those later then. Got these ones now though. Alright, we'll go towards the front and work our way down that side. Good morning, Mr. Hamill. 
natural if needed. Yeah, I planned on just uh, getting a compost working well. Ben, <laughs> Mr. Hamill, a bitrate better be good. I'm on my home internet. <laughs> Shimo Knight, what's up? There, I wet the hole first. <laughs> David Alexander, you're telling everyone they miss Sunday morning cartoons. They must have been hopping, huh? All right, this one needs some more dirt in the bottom here. <laughs> oh, Florida's very tropical in climate. Get back, bud. But, even though it's very tropical, um, so I'm just going to dig this one with my hand. Oops. It can get very dry as this dry season, so. No, Mary, thank you for the tip. Like, I'm learning all this gardening stuff for the first time. So, I just wanna do good things for my local ecosystem and help the birds, the bees, and the butterflies. You know, any little bit I can help. is awesome for me. So anything we learn here, the entire group learns together. DuckTales, I saw uh, something on Reddit where it was the DuckTales intro, but every time it said DuckTales, it was just them yelling, duck. <laughs> Reddit's so dumb sometimes. Uh, you're fixed right now, but I can, I can zoom in closer. So I'm working over here right now. So I can zoom into this region for the time being. Yeah, and then just remind me to move it once I get to the other side here. What so? Oh, there's already a fly on this one. It's working. We're bringing in the insects. This one's only a one gallon. And now you don't see Watson. I know, right? <laughs> We're fixed. Uh, no, this is that's why I'm planting uh, Florida Natural. This is what these plants grow in. Gross Florida natural. <laughs> I won't be, I know, right? Not cow poop, what? I put um, just two bags of a little bit of manure down, just a light layer, not much. 
strong roots. Okay, let's do this one back here. Yep, it was manure plus compost, correct. It was a mixed bag from Tractor Supply. Like I said, and it wasn't much at all. But amazing call on wetting the hole. Yeah, I know after you plant plants, you, you should definitely water them daily for like until they're doing well. Ooh, that's a good root system on this one. You just like squeeze it, shake it a bit, get these roots out. Right about, boom, and we're rooted. <sighs> Fine returns, yes, let's hope. I, one of my friends, oops, just got into beekeeping. It'd be cool to put it like a little Coach Beehive. Has 72 has it's like five one box in the back. Viewers. Coach Kate. <sighs> well, I'm not even in frame now. It's just the bottom half of me in frame. You can't even see my, my huff on stream right now. Thank you, Coach K. Thanks again uh, for the gifted sub. Everyone show some love to Coach K, please. Awesome for supporting all of you, giving you, because ads on Twitch suck. So like, you know how I'm always like, ah, don't sub here and things like that. But you know, this gift subs are really nice because then people get a month of ad free and that definitely helps support the streamer. So I'm not looking at it in like money sense and what I get in return from a sub. I'm looking at you not getting ads because if there's one thing I hate on Twitch, it's the freaking ads. They ruined the, the user experience. Zoom out. Less chance of crack view. Good idea. <laughs> I did. Thank you for... Does that mean less chance of crack view? Does that mean I had a crack view then? Are you saying there was a crack view? Ooh, that smells good. This one is the um, tropical sage. This was one I was looking forward to getting. No, you could. Okay. I mean, I'm sweating enough to be considered a pool, right? No, I'm probably a hot tub. Oh, yeah. Well, he has a tub of water. He doesn't need to drink hose water. He doesn't need to drink hose water. But every time I turn the hose on, he runs over here. It's so funny. Treat for what? <laughs> Captain Jack, what's my uptime? Maybe Jack's dead. This is the one, I got this one because we see it in the scrub. Had a screen in pull. No, I don't want to upkeep a pull. Captain Jack, what's my uptime? Oh, thanks. Oh, everyone's doing it now. Fill it up really well with water. Now oh, I want to know. Captain Jack, check bit rate.
Yeah, the jack might not be working. Yeah, because of how dry it is right now. Soil very thirsty. Thirstier than pools, hot tubs, and beaches viewers. <laughs> oh man, I'm so glad they made that category because now we can have fun with it. Like I can do my metal detecting streams in it sometimes. They have a place, so they're not in just chatting. And I think it's a good, readjust camera, okay. I'll zoom out a little bit, probably. Oh yeah, because I moved over to there. We'll go to this section now. Is it too bright as well, maybe? Thirsty soil. <laughs> Always water in new plants. That's an awesome tip. Learning a lot today. Like I always watered them after putting them in. Okay, <laughs> girl. Hey girl, do you know what my eight month subscribers get? Huh? Do you know what my eight month subscribers get? I don't know if you knew this. Uh-oh. You get a nature hike in the woods with me. Isn't that what you always wanted? a nature hike with me in the woods foot picks <laughs> yeah we can go on a nature hike together orders that ain't the baby room no K girl hates hiking she's like if a guy ever suggests a hike for a date, she's leaving. <laughs> okay, now this big beauty berry. Yeah, K girl hates nature. Come what is this? No fear. 169 bits. What'd you do? Leaves. How come you never offered to take me for a hike? Well, because you like it. Remember? I suppose I'm trying to convince people to not subscribe. Actually, I'm getting estimates for impact windows for my house. So think of any subscription right now okay okay so you both can fly in and I can take you on a nature hike okay is that better you can fly in and I'll take you both on a nature hike TwitchCon, oh man, man, I forgot. There's like a TwitchCon going on in Austin right now. It's like LSF Con. All the streamers that are ever focused in on LSF are all in Austin right now. Wow, 
Watson, don't lick my back, please. We would never do ourselves. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh, this plant smells so good. I... Oh. It smells so good. This is considered like, no one ever grows these. This is American Beauty Berry. It gets these really beautiful purple flowers on it. But you never see these in people's yards. They're just, that's the thing about native plants. People don't like them, but oh, it smells so good. Oh, my house is set to 78, so I'm a freak like that. Oh, this is broken. You just tuck in. You look nice. Yeah, but you're not allowed to legally ask if you're vaccinated or not. So that has its implications. So these ones here, I'm just gonna like separate the roots out. So this is wild coffee. Oh, might as well keep the soil here now and see if I can just separate the individual plants I have here and see if I can get them planted. Probably should have done this one after the mulch, just to see if they can grow from little saplings. These ones, I don't really need to wet these holes too much. HIPAA, yep, US health laws. That's why you can't, you can't do that stuff here. Careful when I mulch these, I don't accidentally hit them. Look, this could be like a little wild coffee section. Could be cool if they live. Learn how much I hate living flying insects? Why? I went on a date with a guy there. Okay, girl, that sounds like a whole date. Gotta have a green check mark. Is that how it works? So what, you get this green check mark and that makes you safe to not wear a mask and whatnot. People aren't really wearing masks out and about. You're seeing them pretty much non-existent now in Florida, but this is Florida. Like I don't have to wear a mask when I teach, I still do, because um, my students feel a little bit more comfortable, you know? And that's important for me. <sighs> I want my students to feel comfortable in the classroom. So I'm going to do these sunflowers back here now as well. So that's these pots right here. So I'm going to try to get the whole root system out. I'm just going to use the shovel. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing back here. But I'm just going to do these sunflowers in the back here. Just a line of like four of them. To spread them out. I think that'll look cool. Let me bring the hose back here. Wet these holes. <laughs> and Watson's always like, is it hose time? No, Watson, don't go in here. Yep. Captain Jack, check weather. Oh yeah, Jack's wasn't working. He was revolting. Oh, there it is. Jack just wasn't listening earlier. What's up, three, two, one? How's it going today? Wait. 
the overlay didn't appear? You serious? Lots and lots of planning. What are you planning? Three, two, one gaming stuff? All right, there's our little root cluster. Now is this separate or should I keep them together? Let's see, let's find the bulb here. No lay. Captain Jack, check weather. Let's try it again. These two look like they're gonna stay together. Sunflower. It flickered, it dropped down to 84. Huh, yeah, maybe something's not working. Oh, 94.3. Oh yeah, it takes a little bit to load. Yeah, it takes a little bit to load. Three, two, one, I don't know what all, I don't, I, I don't do gaming stuff, but what sort of stuff do you support in the county? That's pretty cool. Look, sunflower, I grew this by myself from bird seed. This is from black sunflower oil seeds. All by myself. Yeah, I only do outdoor stuff. Way too hot. What do you mean, Joanna? We become one. Now these pots right here, these are gonna become my milkweed pots. So, little sunflower row back here will look nice though. There's a spider. A Vieira Regional Community Center in the past. That's cool. That's cool to do things like that around here. So I'm gonna pull one from over here that I don't know. If it's gonna survive, but we'll find out. So it probably won't, but I wanted to get it out of this other one. So these are just two other sunflowers I'm transplanting here. Our little sunflower colony back here. I'll do another one right here. I don't know how big they're gonna get, or how nice they're gonna get, but birds like to eat the sunflowers that come out of them then. There's more community involvement outside of gaming, like fundraising, for, that's awesome. 50 Celsius, what? <laughs> I'm not that kind of Florida man, no. I need something here. Crap. I don't have anything there. It looks it looks naked there, doesn't it? The wild coffee will I could move a coffee back to there. Cause this is two coffee plants. Let's see if I could separate these coffee plants. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. But I've also I never wetted these holes either. So let's see if I could separate these. I'll also try wetting these holes. Lesser goldfinches, nice, that's cool. Wild coffee, it's different, different. Wild coffee, slightly different. I might be out of camera range now, but you all will scream and chat if I am. I will go back, actually I wanna keep camera range where it is, because I will move back to the other spot there. What do you want, woodpecker? Are you mad at me? Watson, no? Watson, this isn't just playing with water. This is also playing with mud. You make experiments? What do you mean? The point of coffee is it makes um, a, uh, this yellow flower 
and a berry. And birds like uh, wild coffee berries. It looks like I can separate these. One is definitely better than the other. Be very, very careful. My bad. <laughs> yeah, Muddy Watson is a Watson I have to bathe in. What's up, Terry? How are you doing? Oh, look at these roots. This one has a better root. We'll put you up front so you can show off. And you can go back here. Again, I know we might be out of range right now, but I just needed a, something back here. And this is where the other wild coffee goes. Oh, that's a good root. That's a good root on that one. Oh, thank you. You got a sub from Coach K. Awesome. Uh, three, two, one. I'll pick them. I'll de-weed them like a monster. So that is where I want this one. Where'd my shovel go? I'm gonna have to like, I need to build an outdoor shower so I can just like hop in and not worry about all this dirt on me. Outdoor showers are so convenient. <laughs> oh, Watson. It's coming together, it looks so nice. Ah, I'm excited. No, I'm not going to shower on stream. Compost pile is going to go in the back corner over there. You filthy animals. Beautyberry smells so freaking good. I love it. I gotta learn how to um, do clippings and grow things from clippings too. Like, if I clip this, can I grow it in another pot? You know, I need to learn how to do all that as well. Oh no, I cut something. Why the, uh, what, for what? Oh, TOS, oh, that's what we're talking about. Oh yeah, even if I shower my clothes on, that's probably TOS. Because it's the act of showering. And that might not be accepted. Huh? What's in here? Heard a dog. Get it, Watson. Tell them this is your territory. What do they smell of? I don't know how to describe the smell. I don't know, but it's, it's a really good smell. But wore swimming trunks, really. <laughs> you can grow a beauty berry from seed or softwood cuttings. Okay, so the softwood. So that softwood would be towards the tips.
Did you now pizza? Did you look that up for me, or did you actually did you did you know that? Because beautyberry is I don't know if that's found everywhere or not. Oh, yeah, just clip that and put them in water. That's a good idea. Said, I don't think I want to put any tropical milkweed out there. I'm standing in front of the camera now. Aren't I? Look at that. I need something in there. I'm going to move one of these wild coffees. So I have four wild coffees right here that I'm trying to grow. I'm going to move these two end ones. Actually, I'm going to move this one right here. Let's put this one right here. Nice little wild coffee. Yeah, I'll zoom out in a second. I'm just finishing up some spacing here. These are very baby wild coffees that a friend gave me. So I don't know how well they'll grow or survive. I think that'll work. Spreads them out a little bit more. Maybe I'll move this one actually further back here, to be honest. Boom. All right, I'm taking gloves off for a second. We're taking a little break. Dirty. Well, I'm going to plug you all in for a moment, too, while I'm taking a break here. Charge you up. Hey, Jamaican face, thanks for the follow. After nuclear war. <laughs> okay, let's zoom out and take a look at it all. Here we go. Let's raise camera up just a tad. Clean up our tops. I, I tend to save these in case I try to grow clippings and whatnot. We'll put these off over here. This off to the side for the time being. I'm actually gonna clean my hands with it right now. Oh, Watson, that water's hot, bud. <laughs> okay, now I can wipe myself off. Sorry, I'm not reading chat. I'll plant the milkweed on my own later. Do you have where? Yes, save them. Yes, yeah. Should I, should I put a layer of water on? What's up, Allison? How are you doing? So yeah. Check it out, we got them all planted. Watson, do you approve? Do you approve, bud? It's hot, I'm gonna put you back inside for a bit, let you cool down. But yeah, we got them all planted. Now I think I'm gonna put a layer of water down because it's so hot. I'm gonna try not to get any water on the leaves because sometimes if you get water on the leaves, you can like burn the leaves. Um, so I'm gonna try to get a water, layer of water down and then we're gonna start spreading the mulch. But it's hot and I need to stay hydrated. <laughs> I'm going to get my planters out of here. These are going to be for the milkweeds.
But yeah, I need to chug another water. I think this one's fake clay. It's very light. Water before mulch is a very good idea. Okay, sweet. But don't get the leaves wet. Yep. Mindicorn, what's up, Mindicorn? By the way, I saw you were doing wildflower identification yesterday on stream. I missed it, but I saw the stream title. Chug a, chug a beer, too, yeah. Mm. Try chugging too fast. <coughs> I know, right? Sand in Florida. Whew. Ava, why aren't you not back outside yet? You've been here way too long. <coughs> Watson, you want to go inside and chill for a bit? Let's go get another water. Let's try not to track dirt in the house. Come on, Watson. Oh, sorry, I didn't bring chat with me, so. I hope you're all being good outside. Oh my gosh, CC actually feels quite pleasant. Oh, so pleasant. All right, have you been good? You went out of the crate after you got in a fight? Huh? Are you gonna be good out of the crate? Don't get in another fight. Be a good girl, okay? She probably needs out, I'll let her out, just her. So everyone, this is Nana. She's the other dog I'm babysitting. Nana, come here. Nana, Nana, come here. She's a great dog, but she gets really high anxiety and like when I was out here working, she was standing next to Watson at the doorway and she starts getting very licky. And then Watson licks back and like it just like peaks her anxiety uh, because uh, she's a rescue and the previous owners like would leave her a lot or something like that. So when I'm like out here doing things like, so this is my roommate's uh, dog, old roommate's dogs. So whenever they travel, I watch them and they're traveling this weekend. Um, so she has, very strong separation anxiety. It's getting dark. Well, while the UK still has flowers. Oh, the weather turned shite now. It's so much fun to have That's so cool. Every Friday, no way. Wait, what's that say for beauty berries? Feel free to post that link in the um, nature share section of the Discord. Uh, sand is just Florida. Florida is sand. I don't have a bee house yet. But yeah. But she's great. Oh, now she's peeing next to the flowers. At least it's not in the flowers. But yeah, she's, she's a wonderful, uh, really nice dog. She's just like I said, when she gets those anxiety attacks, Watson starts looking back when she starts looking him and they're both looking at each other's faces and then it's just like stress, anxiety, and then a dog, it just goes like, rah, 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 rah. it's like a quick little fight. Sunset foliage spray. Oh, I can't wait to see this all fill in. I can make one, a beehive. Can I make it out of pallet wood? That'd be super cool. Oh, she's pooping, let me block block the poop if it's on cam. I think I'm blocking it. I'll stand a little close. Don't watch. Oh, sweet. Maybe I'll make a beehive. She's still going. <gasps> Good job, Nana. Good job. Don't run through the flowers. Oh, oh, come on. No, hey, come on. Keep going. Get out of the... You, you, I know you smell the cow manure. Come on. Come on. Back inside. Go back in the AC. Come on. Nope, don't smell the milk weed. Come on, come on. Good girl. Come back in. 
Let's see if she's good this time inside without me. Wild Earth get away with poopers. Wild Earth gets away with live hunts. But then someone like Glorgana, who's doing educational taxidermy, gets, in, gets banned for a week. <gasps> Birds. They didn't see me. For doing animal surgery on stream. So uh, Twitch is tough when it comes to that stuff. Context matters, but you know, Gorgana's context was educational while doing taxidermy. But then, like, Wild Earth shows live kills. It's just little things like that get to you after a while on Twitch. You need some more mulch to cover the soil and keep your... Yeah, so I haven't mulched it yet. Nope. Haven't mulched it. I'm putting a layer of water down on it now before I put the mulch down. I'm going to try my best not to get them on the leaves. Hold on, I should put chat on when I do this. Is the ice cream dead? What are we doing here? Now I need a, a full greenhouse back here, right? Yeah, exactly, pizza. It's just like nature stuff. I don't know, it's like, things like that on Twitch, I don't know, like, like when I'm doing birding, and my example is the other week, when I was out at that one uh, scrub sanctuary, there was that red-shouldered hawk who got uh, a baby bird out of a nest and was eating it. And I knew I could see the baby bird, but I didn't want to show it on stream because I was worried. I didn't want to show it on stream because of the gore, I didn't want to show it on stream because Twitch might have banned me. And it's like those little reasonings, like, uh, how much do I want to push it? Like, yeah, I want to show it uh, because it is nature and it's a natural thing. But then if Twitch takes that as um, glorifying gore and not the educational sense, then that's a ban. I don't pick up the jacuzzi. <sighs> This isn't going to be fun. <laughs> no, 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 knifey. No, no, no. These are things I think about a lot. And you know, when I stream, we can talk about these things. I don't mind. This is so freaking dry. Actually, I'm gonna do this differently. Eh, no, this will work. I'm trying not to get the leaves as wet. Oh, maybe a, a net to dome, but a greenhouse where you are just gonna, oh yeah, greenhouse would be a little too hot here, right? Yeah, chat's reaction as well. I mean, well, Wild Earth is mostly LSF viewers. Because they've had a few posts on LSF with it. You see the bird flying behind me? Yeah, I mean, if I would ever show it, I would fully warn before showing it. That's for sure. And you all know I wouldn't glorify anything like that. But yeah, it's just little things like that. I hesitate to show on Twitch. I don't know if I pre-wetted this one here. My mom has a greenhouse in Pennsylvania. I know, the birds are just like, I want my food, it's dinner time, and I'm just here in their way. It's, I'm so mean, so mean.
Human Titus. I am the Human Titus today. Oh no, I am the problem I speak about. I was just watering a stick over there. Good job, me. When's the best time to water plants? I always water plants in the morning before I go to work. Or is it better to water in the evenings before bed? I don't know. What do you guys do? Oh, slow charging. Don't you tell me what you're doing. Early morning? Yeah, that's what I've been doing. But as I'm doing it, I'm like, I don't know if this is the right time. After midnight. Well, I'm not up after midnight until I wake up in the morning. So early morning it is. And in the evening, especially this time of the year in Florida, right? So I should, should I be watering these twice a day? Starting out here. Yeah, let's give these a water over here too. At least for the first to start, yes. As long as I'm not flooding it. So if it's so dry that there's no flooding happening, then yeah. I mean, I am going to be putting um, mulch down on top as well to help retain some of the moisture. Let them rest. Wow, so there's a couple of different opinions on how much you should water right when planting. Now I'm interested. I'm always interested in little things like that. Because like things like gardening, like how much do we read up on gardening or how much have we just like learned from our parents, you know? So what's something like that you've been doing normally all your life, but actually might not be the way it goes. Yeah, and like, that's the nice thing about talking about this stuff on Twitch. We can share these educational bits. Always, like Florida, very, very, like the water column, water does not stay in this column for long because of the sand. If you do a, a water test here where you dig like a 18 inch hole, fill it full of water, and then see how much drains into that hole per hour, <laughs> Let's just say it would not be much. Wait, in, bits in honor of Inovic. Oh my God, Inovic is here. Water retention of soil plant. Yeah, so stuff travels very quickly through sand. Well, we have 100% humidity like every morning here. It would be hard, to, yeah. It, the only time I'd be worried about overwatering here would be because of Florida summer. Florida summer would be like the only thing. Oh no, I don't want to spray that hard. There we go. Just light sprays. Florida. Well, you dig down like three feet in Florida and that is the groundwater. <laughs> That's right, team, <laughs> three, two, one. Florida is groundwater. <laughs> right now it's probably much, much lower, but yeah. <laughs> no, you're not really wrong. What did I end up putting in? Oh, so when I went over the, oh, we put in all sorts of kinds of plants. So, oh, don't do that. Nope, oh, I just killed a plant. <laughs> uh, back here, I'm watering just some sunflowers that grew from black oil sunflower seeds. So these are just 
regular sunflowers here. Um, right here, I'm watering some uh, beauty berry clippings. <laughs> Cardinals right there, like yelling at me. Uh, and right here, these two are beauty berries. These big ones right in the middle. Uh, beauty berries make a nice berry that birds like. They smell really good. And they have a nice uh, purple flower to them. And these are some clippings a friend gave me right here that I'm trying to see if they grow or not. But yeah, these, these f five here are sunflowers I've been trying to grow on my own. Right now I am watering a fire bush, another one that's native to Florida. This one's not looking too healthy. Also, I know I just said native to Florida, but you want to be careful with if you're uh, buying fire bush. I learned from the native nursery today that there are different versions of fire bush and the ones I previously owned, so this one and one over there, aren't technically native. The leaves are slightly different on the actual native ones. Uh, right here, where I'm switching the watering can to, this one is wild coffee, or sometimes you might see this as uh, shiny leaf coffee. At least that's what it was labeled as. So that one's wild coffee right there. There's a wild coffee back there. I also have a few other smaller wild coffees that uh, a friend gave me as well. And trying to get those to see if I can get little saplings to take root and, and grow well. Uh, right there's another shrimp plant. These are just um, sunflowers. So birds like sunflowers. Over there's another uh, fire bush and another sunflower on the other side. This is just a tree stump with a bird bath on top. Um, let's see, what else do I have in here? Uh, right here, this one, I forget the name of that one. I have to check my phone. This one up, oh, so this one, this red one right there, that's a tropical sage. Also smells really good, flowers all year around. The one up front there, that is a um, partridge pea, has a yellow flower to it. Um, this one's a that bush looking one right there, it's called like damn something yellow. Common names are evil. I know, right? Sorry if I missed anything. Not hiked yet, but would within the next year. I'll probably head out to Wakaiva and hike that six mile trail out there. That could be a fun stream day. What's up, John? It's our sunflower. <laughs> the oh, shit. Coffee. The nectar from uh, Salvia uh, cassinia is quite tasty. The Salvia cassinia is the tropical sage, right? For the common name, madness. Wait, is this not charging? And I have it plugged in. Charge. Oh, it's slow charging because it's hot. Do I have it in the right port? Yeah, it should be in the um, fast charge port. Probably just the heat is causing my phone to slow charge. We're not done yet. We're just, we're just watering. But yeah, so a couple, oh. Um, those ones were those ones, and then I forgot that one. So let me grab my phone here and go over the other ones with you. I know, we're going to get so many cool bird shots out here. Oh, giant ironweed, or uh, Vernonia gigantea. So the giant ironweed is the one I couldn't figure out um, right over there. Um, we have seaside goldenrod. Seaside goldenrod is that one in the front corner right there. Uh, we have the par partridge pea which is the one that almost looks like has fern leaves on it. Uh, oh yeah, the Black-Eyed Susan. Uh, Black-Eyed Susan is right there. I also have two Black-Eyed Susans I had before. I have Crotons and some box store salvia and variegated chef flair over there under the bird feeder. Just what I put in that day. It was when I didn't really know much about landscaping and going Florida native. Um, and I was just making my bird feeder look pretty. <laughs> so there's that one. Uh, we have the shiny leaf coffee. We have the beauty berry in the center there. 
uh, the tropical salvia or the salvia cocinia, uh, the blanket flower or those two little ones I put in over there. So they should create a nice ground flower over there eventually, I hope. Oh, and then um, I also got uh, white, white milkweed that I'm just going to put in uh, pots off stream along with some tropical milkweed and for the um, monarch butterflies. That should be cool too. I might, put, I might use one of these buckets for them as well. Or maybe I'll use that. Yeah, that could be cool. Oh, and then, okay, the dam one that looks like a tall plant right there, that's called the dam yellow aster. Or Helenium, is it really bifidum? Yeah, Helenium bifidum. I think you have to like buy like those giant sunflower plant seeds. But yeah, those are what I got. If, um, if you want to see a list, I did post pictures of everything I bought today with like the name cards of them on my Instagram story. So if you check my Instagram story, I don't know if you have to follow me or not to see my story, but feel free to look at it without following me. Um, I put it, I put it, I put um, slides or story images of each of the plants. Disturbed, so a transplant can be challenged. Yep, I found out that um, I transplanted some of the ones there. Only a certain amount survived in there. So we'll see how those do back there now. <laughs> That's why I put them in the back in case they don't make it. But I want these pots for the milkweed. Coming together, though, isn't it? Insta doodle. I think if you just do socials, it's in. The, it's on that list. And also, um, if you do exclamation point Instagram or IG, or if you just scroll down, I think my socials are there too. What time is it? Is it really 16.15 already? Nice. Yeah, once they establish and fill in the space, disperse some seeds, that's going to end up looking really nice, I think. But I have four bags of mulch to put down. We're not done yet. <laughs> it's mulching time. We don't have an only, are you even, is it actually, are you, we used to have that, then I questioned the legality of it. Are you allowed to have an OnlyFans command? Is that TOS? Okay, and if there's one thing I love, it's the smell of red mulch. Thank you, it's gonna look really good when we get this mulch down. I don't know, so the stones, I kind of just have them spread around and spaced out a little bit. I don't really do much with the stones. What do you all think about the stones here? So the border stones, was well, just kind of how I drew it out. I paid like 60 bucks for these stones. <laughs> so like, I don't really know what to um, do with them. I could stand them up like this after I get the mulch spread and like dig them in a little bit. Would that look better if I stand them up or flat better? Know how handy you are? I mean, I have a wood shop. <laughs> so it just counts as another social network. All right, I wasn't sure. Up makes it easier to trim. Standing looks better. Okay, we'll, we'll mess with that at the end. I don't know if I can get them all to stand. Maybe, maybe I should do that now. Just put it right inside the borderline. I should probably stand them up now, huh? Okay, no, no mulching yet. We're gonna stand up our stones. 
Now, they do have some spacing in them. They're not all the same either. OCD triggering has begun because some are different heights. That's kind of why I had them down because some are different heights. As dog stands his stones. <laughs> this is a little one. That's a little tiny one right there. Outline a boat barrier. <laughs> yeah, this is now an archaeological dig site. Quinn, I'm going to need your assistance out here to help excavate. Uh, yeah, um, well, X-link disorders are more common to males um, in terms of, like, those sorts of disorders because males only have one X chromosome. However, um, hormone-related disorders such as osteoporosis and whatnot, more common in females because of menopause and the drop in estrogen levels <laughs> so it depends it depends so like color blindness hemophilia things like that more common to males but osteoporosis more common to females that estrogen production is quite important density and many other things immune disorder issues and I don't know for immune disorder, immune disorders are so like diverse and unknown for their reasonings and causes. So I'm not 100% there. Like, So Watson doesn't express pigment in his hair, but if you look at his nose, his nose is brown. Now when he was a puppy, his nose used to be very black. That suggests that he can produce melanin. So there are yellow labs that have a brown nose. That means their pigment for melanin is recessive. Both of those traits, or both peels are the recessive Trait. So little b, little b, homozygous recessive. So Watson, since he had a black nose when. There we go. Okay, indeed they are. Yeah. But yeah, lots of things definitely uh, more common in women too. But males get the X linked diseases. Because for a female to have an X-linked recessive disease, she needs both copies of a recessive X chromosome, which needs, means both parents either need to be carriers or the father needs to have the disease. But at the very least, the mother must be a carrier. Was the clip from a genetics lecture? Which one? Maybe. Maybe, I do those sometimes. Oh no, we lost a stone. <gasps> Means we have more space. Hmm. 
Oh, that was a YouTube video. You all, what are y'all laughing at? You didn't see anything. That's just a water bath. That's why water came out of it. Yeah, this definitely looks nicer. I just can't get lightheaded bending up and down. I did not see shit. <laughs> you know, it happens. It happens to the best of us. I don't think anyone will clip that. It wasn't cool enough. Everyone's capable of doing embarrassing things. Yeah, I got these rocks from a U-Pick pile. I think they'll get the job done now. Does not allow kneeling. What do you mean? You mean like going down on one knee? Oh, my knee was, this grass is like sharp. Florida grass is not nice to knees. I need knee pads. Mark the compass and record the years. Let's pull some grass while we're down here. That grass, I probably need weeds. Get out of here, weeds. Weeds be gone. Knobby knees should protect you. You love my knob knobby knees pizza. Not suitable EW. <laughs> oh, screaming children. Should be illegal. Alrighty. So all of our rocks are now stood up. Here's a random shell. Calcium carbonate, good for it. But yeah, all rocks are now stood up. So now we're finally going to add the mulch. <laughs> so it's probably just easier to dump in big piles and then start spreading around, huh? Oops. Let's go watch, eh? Thank you for the host in Colian. Thank you. And doing the whole DNA genotype, oh my god, I got to get lost so many rat holes. Isn't it cool? Just be careful. They could, um, wherever you get your DNA test sent, that's their data. They could do whatever they want with They could sell your DNA. Mr. Hamill, thank you for giving us up to Uncle Bill. Uncle Bill, awesome, awesome. Thank you for all the side work you've been helping with for TKF and reaching out and getting emails for me. Definitely, definitely very thankful for that. I was on like my to-do list for next week. <laughs> yeah. We just had a, a TKF nominations meeting the other night and we added a whole bunch of awesome new streamers. 
and we changed our ways and where we um, send an email out to invite them to TKF as a featured streamer. Okay, are you a streamer? Here's my message to you. Post your business email somewhere that's easy to find. So when we add a streamer, I go to your page. I then read your about me, not there. I then go down through all your things below, not there. I then go to your YouTube, not there. I then go to Instagram and Twitter descriptions, not there. If you have a Facebook, I go there and sometimes it's there. I then go to, where else have I gone? I've gone to faculty pages for some of the people who are instructors at the university. And I don't really want to send it to their university email, but it is what it is. Um, you make it very difficult to find emails. Make it easier. Because people need your business email and being able to find that easily is good. Yes, it's probably your username at gmail.com, but that's not always the case. I'm at outlook.com because I'm weird and I'm an instructor and we use Outlook and all my stuff is synced in Outlook, so it's a lot easier for me. Um, but, yeah, you get my point. Make your email easy to find. <laughs> well, no, we need, we need to add Pesmerg to TKF. This looks ominous with the light. Post your business email easy to find. There. Post your business email that's easy to find. There's the two different versions. It's not in my Twitch profile below. It should be in my About Me. I added it yesterday. Let's, oh, it's yeah, it's in my About Me. Scroll to the bottom of my About Me. You click that thing. It takes you to a Google Doc. It should be in that. <laughs> Summon PMs. Yeah. Did I not click save yesterday? I have some topsoil here that I need to get rid of. I might just... No, I'll use it for pots. <laughs> no fear. Yes. Shout out to Pez. Does Pez know you're mod here yet? Does Pez know you're a mod? Be gentle out there, I know, right? Smell of mulch. It wasn't in a No Fear newsletter? Oh no, who writes that? Don't think this is nearly as big. It is a big deal, all right? I like to make things a big deal. Because if I make it a big deal, that makes it actually a big deal. You're split up? You and Pez split up? What? Oh my gosh, is there drama in the V3 community? Pez said what to you? Mike, oh my God. Shaking my hand job shaking my head job ooh wood chipper nice this actually doesn't smell as good as I hoped very disappointing
I'm walking and typing. <laughs> walking, typing, and moving furniture. <laughs> but you said S-M-J-H. I had to comment on that. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Getting rid of a body, oh my gosh. Oh, the sound of mulch. Like I said, I want it to be a pretty thin layer. Hope I have enough. Oops. Quantum Wasted, what's up? So wait, who is Doc Burian? Oh no. Wait, what are we freezing? Oh. Are you guys talking about wood chipping a body? System. Oh no, I unplugged my phone. Probably not good to have cables dangling from me while I'm out here, but it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, it probably is what happened to Jimmy Hoffa. Not actually buried anywhere. Just a wood chipper. Sometimes it's just easier to use your hands. No, they don't. Hey, what's the close? Thanks for the follow. Yeah, I'm gonna use my hands down here just cause I don't wanna hurt these clippings. All right, that was two bags. I think we're gonna be pretty close in four bags here. What, Mike, you kidding? You cancel the order. <laughs> Mike. Uh, green herring, I don't know. I always bring people here, you know? You know, it's the community. Wow. Wait, so what you sent me last night was an order placed after I said I just ordered that battery? Mike.
Yeah, this is all probably gonna go through here anyway. All right, this is gonna be easier. Spread my hand. So when I hit order now, it went to, wow. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say that out loud. My, my own device might hear me. I was watching Kit Boga the other day and he was talking to, to her, to the scammer, and my device kept going off. <laughs> I was like, Kiboga, stop it. You're setting off my device. What's up, Clip? Clip, yeah, I called you Clip. Ooh, the wind. Man, I keep getting whiffs of these beauty berries, and oh my gosh. I know I've said they smell so good, but have I said they smell so good? Wait, why do I have a scanner? What do you mean? I don't know if you're talking to me. I don't have a scanner. I work at a university. I just use all their stuff. Look at this big piece. Ah. Put you right here. Yeah, it's coming together, three, two, one. That's for sure. It might not be a success if we're just one bag of malt short. I almost bought four today, but I didn't. Fingers crossed. I have to move some around. Beauty berry addiction. Oh my gosh, this is looking really nice. I'm happy with this so far. I hope the birds appreciate it. Let's see, rocks, $60. I spent $110 in plants today. I spent, all right, everyone start adding. So 60, get your calculator out. I'm gonna start yelling numbers. I can let you know how much everything is right here. Okay, 60 plus 110 plus 10 plus 12 plus 20 plus 40 plus 20 plus 20, plus 15, plus 10, plus 30, plus 30. Someone added that, right? $7 for this. You can have this for $7. Okay, yep, $377 for this project. I personally mentally budgeted 500, so that's under budget. That included everything at the bird feeding station as well. So that includes the bird feeding station, rocks, mulch, and all the plants. The numbers are rough estimates, but we can call it $400. A $400 butterfly garden. Some might say that's too expensive. You're probably not wrong, but Landscaping's not super cheap. Labor I, is free because I love doing this stuff. 
Now, if you paid someone to do this, you're probably looking at like a thousand dollars then. So I don't know, it's four hundred dollars for this project. Bad. The United States debt. <laughs> Take out the plus signs and that's our debt. And not only that, a lot of these plants are native, so I can grow from the clippings and stuff like that, and I can start populating throughout the rest of the yard. You available? I said labor is free if you enjoy doing it. I still need to pay my mortgage, so I still need a career. It's just convenient that I have a career that I love. <laughs> the mulch is different. Oh, maybe this is, that's are drying out, different stages. This mulch looked a lot more red. Can I buy your clippings for half the price? <laughs> I need clippings first. No, I think there's some decent Facebook groups where you can find things like that too. <clears throat> Watson. 29,000 rubles. Oh yeah, well I have this cam set up and I can always put this cam up. Once this thing gets nice and filled with flowers, it's gonna be really cool. Cause I have, I have a burbs group in my Discord. I haven't done it in a while, but sometimes I show it's just it's always just been cardinals. I haven't had much diversity in my birds that come to the feeder. I was like, no one just wants to watch cardinals all day, which I mean they're cool, but the cardinals are mad at me today though, because I've been out here all day and they're hungry, and they become dependent on me apparently. But yeah, landscaping is fun. Apparently, so my uncle was a landscaper. I found out recently his nickname was Dirt Man. He had his like 80th birthday party. And it's like, everyone come celebrate Dirt Man's birthday party. I'm like, wait, what, Dirt Man? Since when was his nickname Dirt Man? This is something I should have known all my life. Plant things too deep, probably, and particularly Florida or anywhere. I'm not sure, 100% there. Probably something to do with the water column or wherever you're planting it and the availability of water. You don't want to drown out your roots and whatnot. Why does this bag look different? My mulch is different. Oh, this was a different brand. It'll all blend into the sunlight eventually, right? This bag was a different brand of mulch in the middle. <laughs> middle bag and end bags were Home Depot red cedar. The three bags I bought today were tractor supply red cedar. <laughs> Ruined. Ruined. I need some more in there. This is pretty thick down here. I can move some of this around. 
actually have a way. Just blend it. Yeah, just blend it in and add some dark on top of the red over here. And add some red on top of the dark. What is this? Why are you making noises? Noises mean monetary support. No fear. Why red cedar? I don't know. It smells better. It's just what my brain went with. I don't know, my brain's weird. No, no fear, 72,784 cheered. X100, yeah, you goober, it burns plants. Home gardeners may be advised to. So you tell me I shouldn't have gotten red cedar after it was filled with red cedar? Is that what you're saying right now? If so, exclamation point, worst mod. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It could just be painted red too. Who knows about this mulch? I probably didn't fact check it too much. But we're not using fertilizers. I think there's going to be a fertilizer ban in this county soon. About freaking time. Yeah, you can't see a difference now. You can see a slight difference, but it's fine. Cut you some slack. <laughs> nope, back. What's up, copper? Something like that. About the farm. Fertilizer ban. Yeah, let's see what the bag says here. As far as I'm aware, I don't remember the uh, official um, statistics on it. It's also a tax free week for hurricane supplies in Florida. Like my generators, like I bought those battery packs last night. Tax free. Uh, compost, I'm about to start one. I just moved in here, so it's. Slowly getting things together. <coughs> Will you pull the mulch back from the bases? Best VIP, oh man. Best VIP, that's a tough one. Man, I gotta think about all my VIPs though. I would say you're, you're, you're definitely up there close to best VIP. That's for sure. I have an empty spot right here. But the bird seed's gonna fall down there. The plants will be fine, it's just mulch. Wait, my mom here? Oh yeah, mom is best VIP, oh, true. My mom is a VIP. Scott's 12 month This is just ingredients are forest products and colorant. Told you. It's not doesn't necessarily mean this is red cedar. Yeah. So this is just forest products and colorant.
Oh yeah, Mr. Hamill putting in the um, his his spot for best VIP by always checking my bit rate. But all right. Can you hear the screaming children? I mean, they do have an inflatable water slide right now, which actually looks amazing in this heat. Well, we did it. We have our butterfly insect bird garden now. This was amazing. A lot of fun. X100. Great. So let me now there's going to be right. an alert. No, I'm, this is a learning process, okay? This is a learning process. But let me try that again. The next, oh, that'd be cool, right? Would you be in the pool's hot tubs platform then if you have a water slide? But anyway, well, we did it, we're done. I'll finish, I won't show it, but I'll do a little uh, watering here once the sun goes down a little bit of the mulch and this should fill in pretty nicely, I think. So again, we have all the plants here for butterflies, birds, and insects. So I'm looking forward to see how this is turning out. And I think it looks great. This is, you know, not, I guess it is what I pictured, but it'll look a lot better once they all fill in, especially these beauty berries. Apologies for the screaming children, um, especially for these uh, beauty berries and things like that, but I think this is gonna look really cool. Like over there underneath the bird feeder where a lot of plants are closer together, but eventually these will all sprout. We can make new ones in here and it'll be super cool. So yeah, that was pretty good. So if you do have questions on the native plants that I used today or questions on building your own uh, butterfly bird insect garden like this beyond your house, I calculated it. this was roughly $400 total and that's between the rocks the mulch, all the plants, and from the bird feeding station build that we did a few weeks ago on stream. And all the bird feeders as well. It doesn't include the security camera. But about $400 for all this, which that's honestly not too bad. My budget for this project was about $500. And yeah, I think it went pretty well. But yeah, thank you all for watching. And yeah, I'll see you all next time. And bye bye. Okay, so that little bit was right there. It was in case this becomes a YouTube video. I wasn't actually saying bye to all of you. So if I edit this later into a YouTube video, that's what it'll be. Because my mom missed this whole stream, and she'll like to see something like this. Shovel fell. What's the plate on the log? That's a bird bath. Dude, that's nothing. Trellis project, yeah, now we need to start building um, all my elevated uh, garden beds for vegetables now, right? Vegetables are next. But yeah, up next. Wait, it has no catnip. Two of those berries, the wind picks up, they, yeah, they'll, they'll fill in, it'll be okay. It'll be okay, I'm gonna let Watson back out. No, actually, I'm going to water the mulch before Watson gets out. Wait, I got to put catnip in this? What? Can you grow a garden? Yeah. Anything grows in Florida, pretty much. Oops. Come back, come back. Ah, let's clean our rocks too while we're at it. Make our rocks look nice. Can we get a good picture after this? HVAC duck around the... 
Yep, it's right around the corner there. Did you hear it turn on? You probably heard the neighbors too. Oh, I've seen water beds that have like an aquaponic system hooked up to a fish pond for the nutrients. I think Cody's lab on YouTube, if anyone ever watched Cody's lab, had something like that. Thought it was super cool. Okay, I'll get the backside there. These plants have been in there for a while, so they're a bit more sturdy. Sorry, not reading chat too well right now. Well, let me check. Same. Use the water from your aquariums. When I do, the water changes. I juice the siphons. Yeah. Um, I mean, I have a rainwater barrel, but yeah. Have grass, nothing grows down there. Really? Yeah, you need like topsoil too. Humidity is more than an issue. Yeah. Gardening is great for the soul. Oh, wait, guys, or what about the bird feeding post? Irritate at higher temperatures. Are you running RTX? No, not today. They're grass with shells, yes. Oh yeah. Some places in New Jersey are like that, beachside. Like over towards uh, seaside and whatnot. Oh no, come on rock, about face. I'm gonna water my grass. Oh, this is probably why it's dead if I water it right now. That's so brown right there. Let's get some out there. No, I don't have a sprinkler. I don't own that. Oh my gosh, that looks so freaking good. This is the first I've seen it from a distance. Captain Jack, check uptime. Or Captain Jack, what's my uptime? Forget my command. Just you, Watson. Four eleven. Okay, this took four hours. A hundred dollars an hour. Like I said, uh, off stream, I'm gonna plant. Um, the other stuff, milkweed. Add it to the list. Hold on, I'm gonna fill up my water. We're gonna drink this water and I'm just gonna chill with you all for a minute. In Watson. Stay. Good doggies. Add some ice.
Mike, how many times all I see is no fear cheered 100 bits? You know, my limit is 10 bits, right? Wait, let's sit shade. Actually, I should sit in the sun. It's fine. Because the shade's gonna be really dark on my face. Huh? There, my milk crate chair. Oh, my battery pack. I just sat on it. There you go, 10 bits, that's how it's done. The chat, uh, David Alexander. Oh. Well, we did it. Green herring cheered, X100. Green herring, <laughs> thank you. Y'all being naughty. Watson, what are you chewing? Watson, what do you have? Bring it here. Watson, come. I see you in the reflection of the door. Watson, bring it here. Come on. That's your fetch ball. If you chew your fetch ball, fetch ball's gone. You ready? Oh my gosh, Mr. Hamill, 1500, what the heck? Good night, Lava. Yeah, just a rocking chair. I mean, what's wrong with my milk crate chair? Here, Watson. Drop it. Drop it, buddy. You can drop it. Good boy. Whew. You have 2 a.m. Oh my gosh, you've been watching me that long? Oh, the other dog really wants out right now. But no, this is Watson time. Hey, drop it. Drop it. Don't you turn away. You, you Don't be bashful. Come on. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Good boy. Hello from Russia. Well, thank you for watching me for so long. Don't run straight through. Don't run straight through. Go around. Good boy. Go around the garden. Good boy. Go around the garden. Hey, give ball. Give ball. I'm gonna put ball up for a minute, okay? Just so you don't run off and chew it. I know you like to chew the ball. And we've already been to the vet once over a, a swallowed tennis ball. Ugh. Ooh, what food did you get? By the way, Mike, um, for the first time, I got um, shrimp with garlic sauce from a Chinese restaurant. And I must say, sorry, the other dog is clawing at the um, glass door right now. Um, I must say, it was really good. So now I want to get the, uh, the one you get, the uh, shrimp and scallops and garlic sauce. Garlic sauce is very good. I was, I was picturing something more like a scampi sauce. I don't know. I just never had garlic sauce. Moe's Home Wrecker Bowl. Watch this beat. Oh my gosh. You know how happy I am to have this project done? You know, some of you know how long I've been wanting to get this done. Yeah, I went, uh, so I got up early and I met Psycho One at the uh, Native Nursery. We picked up a whole bunch of plants and then I went and got a whole bunch of other stuff from Tractor Supply. And finally, finally got this done. I, I feel like the brown sauce is a lower calorie than the garlic sauce, so if I had to choose. Ooh, solar garden, solar garden lights. Those would look nice. I have solar lights um, that light up all night anyway, but some of those down there could look nice. Yeah, I, I hope the beauty berry grows in strong because the wind will hit that hard. How happy? I'm a nine. Uh, tomorrow I'll be a 10. I'm just kind of tired and hot right now. So like, it's hard to be a 10 when you're hot and tired. 
Like, so I'm a 9, but like, I know like there's a potential 10 hiding in there. Never give your dog... Ooh, that would be bad. Uh, a hurricane wouldn't move the rocks. And where this garden is, it's somewhat protected. So if a hurricane came through... So there's a bunch of trees right there. The winds... The, the hurricane would have to be coming directly. Let's say this is Florida. This is Florida. Let's see, there's Panhandle. I live here. The rotation would have to be coming directly over, and then it'd have to be the winds coming from the west or this way. This is most open from that side, but there are still some big trees there. There's a, a two-story house there. My house is here to block it, and there's the house there. So the winds would be pretty well blocked in this area where this garden is. It's not super open. It's not like the front of my house. Good night, Pookie. Thanks for hanging out. The Psycho Collab stream. I think we've, we've streamed together before, I think. Did we? Yeah, he's gone metal detecting with me. One of my, my first metal detecting stream. It's nuts. Yeah, I mean, really, hurricane, hurricane stuff gets destroyed. Like, I'd, I'd probably take down um, my bird feeding station for a hurricane. What are you scratching at? Uh-oh, I heard an uh-uh. That's a fish crow. You, you hear the fish crow? Oh, did you hear my... That's my AC turning on for whoever was asking before. Watson, look, we have a butterfly garden. Now you can chase butterflies. Don't you love chasing butterflies? You're a good boy. Wait. Who hung out? Oh, oh, Psycho did. Nice. Yeah, you were mentioning that. All right. First new friend. How long have we been friends? Yeah, you've all become pretty good friends. Ugh, what? You have a hairball? What's up, Ministry? Andrew. Wow. That would be horrible to hear stuff about Andrew. But there it is. Check it out. Yeah, the beauty berries definitely blow around a lot, don't they? Alrighty. No. Oh, that's that's a dog crying inside. She wants out, but it's just Watson time. We're gonna give Watson one more treat. Oh, it's because I got close to the um and it probably sensed the Bluetooth on my phone. Watson, because you've been such a good boy. You know what? You're gonna do a tricks, okay? Can you lay down? Nope, lay down. I didn't even say play dead yet. Okay, lay down. Lay down. No, lay down. Play dead. Come on, sit. Sit. Spin. Sit. Sit pretty. I gotta do this differently. Sit pretty. Sit pretty. Nope, nope. Nothing in my hand. Sit pretty. Who's a good boy? Can't get kissed. <laughs> there you go. Wait, Augie's doing the... Well, Augie better be getting treats, too. Is the fire... Is the fire brush a uh, lantana camera? What do you mean, Ranville? Treats for Augie. Yes, I redeem treat for Augie. Alrighty, everyone. I think I'm going to finish up here, get cleaned up. I need to shower. I'm growth, gross. My legs are currently a different color. My arms are all over me. I'm hot. I've been out in the sun for this long. Um, tomorrow morning, definitely no stream. You gifted us up the psycho one. Nice. 
Thank you, Mr. Hamill. But yeah, I just wanted to share this all, all with you. I had fun doing this, and Psycho One didn't want to come over uh, and do this, so I needed people to talk to and hang out with while working on this. And yeah, thanks for chilling here today. I hope this helped give you a, a fun Saturday. But yeah, no morning stream tomorrow. Uh, maybe an evening stream. If not, I'll probably do Monday morning metal detecting at the beach. Um, if I do anything tomorrow, it would be like late afternoon birding because I'm uh, seeing a friend, his wife, and their kid. And I haven't met their kid yet. They're from Tennessee. I went to school with them, and they're in town. But, so I'm seeing them tomorrow morning. So no stream tomorrow morning. Yeah, glad you could rate me too, uh, Colleen. Hope you had a great stream. Hope, yeah, let's hope the plants don't die. So I know the sun's not great right now, so I'll take my hat off. So let's hope the plants don't die here and this garden fills in. We get lots of butterflies, so you know if there are butterflies, caterpillars, and things like that showing up, I will be posting pictures. Um, and maybe we can get more action on the bird cam finally. So we'll see. Yes, a shradle, you did come in at the end. So we were a second choice. Well, I would have streamed the Psycho one came, but he doesn't always like being on stream, so which is fine. Not everyone likes that, and sometimes you, know, you just want to hang out with a friend. Yeah, I might be a PC build picks. I might be napping, and I might be binging the last four episodes of Lucifer. So I can't make any promises. Oh, the other dog really wants out right now. <laughs> What's up, Drio? Boop, boop. I was about to call you a slacker. I've been done for a while. Okay, I'm chatting with everyone as I go here. That's how you stay friends. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Psycho one's here. He knows I'd... We have, like, this fun mystery of, like, people not knowing his what is, he actually looks like. His, like, face reveal. And it's like... So that's like a fun little side mystery. Yes, we need Danish propaganda. We need Danish propaganda all the time. But yeah, uh, let's see if this works. Captain Jack, execute the end of stream. Oh, a dog bark. Uh oh. Builds butterfly gun, repels butterflies with cedar mulch. It's not cedar, it's ground cover with coloring. Whatever the bag said. Just because it's red doesn't mean it's cedar. You can't pick your friend's houses. <laughs> Wait, let's try it one more time. Captain Jack, execute the end of stream. There it is. I don't know why it didn't work last time. All right, everyone, there are the socials. Most of you know me here. I don't think there's a lot of new names out there. But if you are new, there they are. I do the Instagram, the YouTube. Oh, new video on the YouTube today. If you missed the building of the rain barrel, so right over here Make is the rain burn. barrel in its natural place. Oh, there, you could see there's the slip and slide. So if you missed the rain barrel, there it is. Looks great. Uh, there's some more milkweed I have over there. I have a lot of tropical milkweed that a friend dropped off. So yeah, if you missed that, that's the most recent video on YouTube. It published this morning at 9 a.m. Um, I don't have a Monday video yet. Crap. So we'll figure that out. You did miss the construction of the rain barrel, so there it is. You can go watch the video. The video does start out dark. I know Mike was saying, do you have a filter on your lens? I didn't know what he was talking about at the time. But then for some reason, it randomly brightens up. So something changed the ISO on that Sony cam, and it randomly adjusted later. Um, Jealous, I need green grass. That'd be nice. That just means I need rain. But yeah, thanks for hanging out, everyone. Let's go raid someone. Who's on? Hey, there's a new um, thing. You can tell me who to raid by spending ATP. So if anyone wants to tell me who to raid by spending points, you can. Oh, wait. What, what'd you say? Psycho emote. Last thing you said was PC build picks, unless I missed something. Wait, what's gonna. It is gonna rain? It's not raining yet. It's blue skies right now. Oh, the filter thing. Oh, but it was actually dark at the start of that, so. Yeah.
And edumacate, yeah, I hope you all learned a bit. I know I learned a lot. Just Psycho One probably hated me at the nursery today because I kept asking questions because I was so interested. And he was like, he found his plants. He knew what he wanted. And he's like, okay, I'm ready. And I'm like, I went through two rows. <laughs> All righty, I wanted to go to Twitch here. What time is it? 5.19. Ooh, Storm Chaser looking at tornadoes again. EJ. Da, 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 da. Uh, plant stores I am. If you took me to, you don't ever find me in a clothing store. I don't buy clothes. Well, I get clothes at Goodwill. Ooh, we can return the raid to Gator Gang. You guys all want to stay in hot, toasty Florida? Ooze Brood is on too. Y'all want fishing? Or it looks like I see some woods. Ooze Brood doing a road trip, walking around some trails. Or, Moose Does Stuff is doing house renovations. Oh, there's some educational streams on too. Soundworks is on. Oh my gosh, there's actually a lot of good options down here. The lower end. Okay, you all said sure and yes, but I don't know what you said sure and yes to. Okay, outdoors or educational, step one. We can go, I could raid a, a, a new featured streamer in TKF. Do we want to raid a new featured streamer in TKF? Doing astrophotography? Let's do that. You know what, let's do that. Let's raid a, a new featured streamer in TKF. Doesn't know, might not know me. New streamer show up. Yeah, they're not like a new streamer, but it'll be like a new raid. They just followed me. And, but I knew them because of the nomination process. No. Outdoors, please. Well, if you want outdoors, uh, we could do a shout out for Gator Gang TV. Apparently, they're having a baby now. They're fishing over on West Coast Florida from a kayak. Uh, and the other one is Ooze Brood. Looks like he's some outdoors doing a nature hike right now. But we are going to raid. Oh my gosh, that dog wants out. So, yeah, I need to end this. We're going to raid Astro Canuck. Whatever you want. So Astro Canuck is a new featured streamer in TKF, the Knowledge Fellowship. Um, so <gasps> Cardinal flew away. I'll, I'll leave. The Cardinal needs dinner. Cardinal families need dinner. Um, so new featured streamer in TKF does astrophotography. I think they're over in Europe right now, maybe the UK. Not sure um, exactly where they are, but they are Canadian, hence the Canuck part, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm going to send you all there. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for hanging out, enjoying the little backyard landscaping project. You guys definitely helped me, especially filling the water in the hole first. I never would have thought of that. So thank you for the tips and thank you for the help. I really like how this turns out. It's gonna look amazing once it all fills in and stuff grows. Multiple choice rates, that would be so cool. Be like, here's all the people I love. Go choose who you want to join. And it like splits up your group. Do I have a beast colony starting over there? But uh, if I don't see you all tomorrow, if I stream tomorrow, it'll be wildlife photography. If I stream Monday morning, it'll be metal detecting at the beach. But bye everyone, love you all. Thank you for all the support today, the gifted subs, the follows, the raids, and just being here, lurking, chatting, all that cool stuff. Um, Watson appreciates you, I appreciate you. I love you all, and see you all next time. Bye bye.